Hey there, every pony, this is Potter Brony, and welcome to the last Bronies React to Gen 4, at the very least. Uh, the last problem. Hmm. This is, uh, this is gonna be an interesting one. This fucking video is over two hours long. Two hours, 15 minutes, and 57 seconds. God damn. Uh, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to cut, about, say, halfway through. Uh, I'm not going to do two hours into it and then do the fifth. I'll, I'll figure out a good place to cut because my camera only uh, records two hours of video. The card that I have records only two hours of video. I can't connect it directly to my to my computer here and, uh, and just port it over. Unfortunately, that will mean that I'll find a good place to stop it, mark it, and then transfer the file over and then continue on. Once I get the uh, files on the computer, uh, but yeah, this is uh, this is gonna be a long one. So strap yourselves in. Let's see who cries because I'm probably gonna again. And uh, yeah, so without wasting much more time, be sure to support the official release. The link to the original video is in the description below. Support AC Race Best and all the other bronies that made this possible. Thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoy this as much as I'm sure I will. And uh, yeah, let's let's kick off the send off of G4 in style with a bunch of bronies reacting to it. All right, and starting the video in three, two, one, and go. It's been one week. Amazing is a good word, yes. Journey. So this is a reaction within a reaction. And looking back at it. I wonder who they're going to get for this thing, because they've got to get a lot of people into this one. I wonder if we're going to be seeing... Ah, the gag. What a way to open this up. Holy crap. Mom! I'm a princess! No, you're an embarrassment! <laughs> <laughs> this So many faces. I haven't seen that guy in a while. Animated James. Nice cosplay. Or him, haven't seen him in a while either. <laughs> God, they look so young in the beginning. And I'm already feeling it. It's like deep in here. So you're oh, selling wait. all the pony merch. Bronies react this today. I was planning on having my pony yard sale today. Now that the fandom's over and all. Yeah. I keep telling people things are 20% off, but no one seems to get the joke. <laughs> Happened to the piece that we all knew. This is my one last problem for you. You like that intro? Hey, Aviators, party. Sound of the Aviators is a parody. We've made it to the final episode of My Little Pony. Been waiting for this one. Magic, generation four of this franchise. The last problem. The last episode ever. Let's let let's let's see let's see okay, episode twenty six. Yeah, the all standard, the all the finale, standards. The finale, finale. My yep, little pony yep. friendship is magic. The last problem. Okay. It's so weird that yeah. this is it. The very last episode of My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. Whew. 
Nice yeah, it's a shirt that I wore big deal. I Mount Fuji way back in the Equestria Girls React when I was still stationed in Japan. I was 21, I think. Hmm. Wow. Damn, that was it a while ago. A wild ride. Hi! My name is well, hey, Claire. Margaret Corlett, and if you're living under a frickin' boulder, I'm the voice of Sweetie Belle on My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic, Generation 4. 5? No, it's four. Four. Yeah. You're not a this true This won't pony. be the last Bronies rat. <laughs> I will say that. All right. Here we are, guys. All right. Fair the enough. Finale. That's good to uh, hear. Not just a season finale, but uh, the show finale. This is kind of a big moment. Uh, I want to apologize in advance if I'm not, if I'm even less funny than usual, uh, just because it's bittersweet, you know? It, it's very bittersweet. It's bitter because it's ending, but it's very sweet because of where we've been and what happened and all, so... All right, let's just jump into it. What else can I say? It's a little sad to think that uh, this is the last time we'll be doing this. I mean, not just Bronies React. I mean, I haven't done this in a long time, but yeah, the last time been a while since I like, saw you. A new episode that I have to like track down on YouTube. Yeah, this is it. The final twenty-two minutes. No. Of Gen Four. Are you ready for this? I'm ready. Well, I got a pee, so you're gonna have to okay. wait. This is. Probably the most anticipated episode I've ever wanted to see. They got a lot of people in this one already. Just for Bronies React, just for you guys. And I don't think introductions are anywhere near done. Let's see. Got the drinks. Got to have the drinks. I I think I'm ready. You know, a part of me doesn't want to do this, Uh but no, there's no way to hold this off. Let us see what the final episode has in store. Hey, y'all. What's good? What's good, y'all? Holy yeah, I'm shit. Good, good. I'm good. Y'all ready? I'm ready. I've been ready, cuz. I, I don't know when, but I've been. All right, you got to smell for the occasion, too. You got to be like... Fasten your seatbelts, y'all. You ready? No. You procrastinated enough? I procrastinated enough. <laughs> yeah, I was right there with you, man. I don't know if I'm ready. I know that feeling. Put off your feelings. But I can do what I can to help counter them. <laughs> Let's ride. Oh, man, I can't believe it's the end. That so much has changed since the fandom started. I, I've met so many incredible Is that friends. Jesse? I've made so many memories. And Holy crap, been, Jesse's back. But it's mainly the, the <laughs> beginning of things. That's the biggest change. Let's watch this horse cartoon. Your voice has really kicked in. And look who's back again. <sighs> I was right in thinking that they were going to bring everybody back. back. Well, maybe not everybody, but who knows how many people are going to come back. Ready? Now I'm ready. Contact me, Judith. Judith. <laughs> Judith. I'm actually very excited to watch this. The last problem. Let's hope that whatever the problem is, they can fix it. It's gonna be rough. Here we go. Whoa, All right. that has certainly grown. Wow. Oh my god, they were turned to stone too! <laughs> oh, they must have messed up their stone like that. <laughs> oh no, they were the villains all along! This was all for naught! Rarity's hoof is on Applejack's ass. I approve. A lot of creatures. Oh, too bad that ship didn't happen. Baby Griffin! Oh, he's so cute! Oh, they have their own little monument! And ponies and all. Oh, oh, this is okay, we're getting a good start. I got and as as I let's could. see what the reactions are. Wow! What the <laughs> fuck? Is that <laughs> what? what? Who did this to my fucking Holy baby? shit, Beavis! Is Get a load of this dude! No! <laughs> no! Uh, I don't like it. I don't like it. Oh, Spike! Hold on. <laughs> I obviously missed a lot. Darling, some. How long did it take them to rebuild the castle? <laughs> hey, you went through puberty too, same Z's. Somebody's looking real handsome today. I I did not expect that. Spike this. is an absolute Chad, like yes. Now wait until the next one. Oh, someone's been doing crunches. Spike found Jack Blade's uh, 
YouTube channel. Yo, my man's been lifting off. Oh. Chad Spike. Nobody can fuck with Spike now. He's literally just Chad. Look he's how jacked he is. He's a fucking Chad. <laughs> Jordan's gonna be so upset Holy when he sees shit. how many gains this man got. Whoa, swole Spike just showed up. No, nah, Jax was fine with it. Swole now. Thick thighs destroyed. Wow, I haven't heard oh, that name in forever. Uh, I break the lulls. Ah, uh, snap. It's been a while since he was on it. Puberty hit Spike so hard. Holy shit, Spike had a goal. And they're still introducing people, of course. That, just like he did in that in that dream sequence all those seasons ago. Except he's got wings now. I, I kind of figured they're... Not really. I mean, it's a little different, but... but I did not expect... I see the similarity. Buff humanoid Spike. <laughs> Pour me another liquor! <laughs> Me You're gonna need it. Pour me another liquor, please! Uh, I'm not ready! Making peace between Abyssinians and the Diamond Dogs has not been easy. He got a goddamn Medal of Honor? How many yeah, people dude, did he kill? He served three tours in Equestria. Fucking rip, Spike! You're fucking jacked! Uh, uh. Yeah, that's cool, congrats. I love he's that! Of course he's gotta voice. go without he's shirt. He always does voice. that now. He has the exact same voice. A little weird. He's the crimson shit up in here. Look at this man, oh dude. He's got, the, he's got the big ass, thick ass chin. Am I the only one that had no idea what an Abyssinian was? I had to look it up, but apparently it's a cat. So that's Capper, you know? Filling in some last minute lore there, I guess. Dogs and cats living together, mass hysteria. There's so much to find out. Yeah. Did Good. Rainbow Dash Ghost Ghost reference. get married? I what think they might have. The and here. Twilight! What the fuck the fuck happens? Whoa, 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 uh, <laughs> whoa. No. Whoa. It was kind of a At the beginning, oh, I was like, okay. eh. Oh, what, 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 but then at the end, I'm fine with it. I don't like it. I don't like it. But but I like it. But I hate it. But but it's great. But but I hate it. <laughs> this is not okay. We're doing a Parks and Rec thing here. She's an actual alicorn. Oh my god. And she's been for years, but Twilight. Twilight got tall. And somebody had a growth spurt. Taking on that Celestia aesthetic. They got time for that. I'm grown. Oh no, Twilight. Why did they give you wavy bacon hair? What kind of spaghetti looking ass hair? Bam, don't look at that bacon sizzle. She's like heckin' big now. Um, Princess Celestia, did you get your hair dyed? Uh... Does becoming a princess make you like just have gains? She shouldn't be that long. This is so weird. This is so weird. What the hell did I miss? What are those? <laughs> that's, uh, that's an old Is one. Everybody dead? But I'm glad you could come. It's not oh that my far. God. Did she kill Celestia and that's gain her powers? Ever since I took over Celestia's school, mm, I, there needs to be more alcohol to deal with this new design of Twiggy. Did she just have puberty too? Send her in, Gallus. Huh? That's a surprise. Oh, Gallus is a real guard. A royal guard? Is he like in charge of the royal guard now or something? Ooh, looking good. I like to Gallus. think of him as captain. Wow. Gallus is part of the guard? Okay. Okay, I can get behind that. Gallus doesn't look that much older. Did Twilight just go through a growth spurt? <gasps> it's Gallus. Who cares? <laughs> Gallus is a... Yeah, I was gonna say a shoulder. You're like on the Titanic and you're like, It's been 84 years <laughs> since I've seen this show. Everything's changed. There she is! Seafood dinner! I knew it was gonna happen. This is the new Twilight, isn't it? Yeah. What's up, newbie? Your Majesty, Lester. Of course Her it is. Her name is Lester. Lester. Lester? Like Uncle Lester? That's a weird name. Lester. <laughs> Lester Dawn sounds like a Dragon Ball Z attack. His sun setting over water. There's a lot of suns hmm. going on. Sparkling dusk and twilight. I, I'm sure that's intentional. Dusk on the ocean, or maybe sunrise above the ocean. Sunrise above the ocean, I find brings a bit of emotion this time. I may be the ruler of Equestria, but I'm still just your teacher. How dare you just bow to me? Where's your gift? <laughs> I'm sorry, Twilight. You can't be just the teacher when you're also ruler of Equestria. It doesn't work that way. Where's your sacrifice? I like that when she says, oh, I'm, I'm so humble, I'm just your teacher. Just like as she's saying it, she fluffs out her wings. Massive wings. This is massive power move. I like a design. I'm just that's a good sure it's that's a good point. For me. Are you saying you want to drop out of school? Twilight sends her away to Ponyville. 
And then, and then it starts again. I could spend weeks in the library doing You're not this. wrong. Oh man, I wonder what this is gonna repeat. Where have I heard this before? Yeah, yeah, she's definitely the new Twilight. <laughs> but that's just it. I don't want to make friends. What? <laughs> wow! Jesus Christ! <laughs> what? Burn the witch! You idiot! F! Give her an F! <laughs> like a motherfucking alarm goes off with the guards! Come get her! Twilight of all ponies should understand this. Hey, cut us introverts a break, Twilight. That's exactly where she was. Well, oh, Twilight's not the one who snapped. Know. This is hitting me hard. This sounds like me in university. I arrived and I was like, guys, Twilight was understanding. Friends? I don't want to make friends. Fuck friends. Who cares? <laughs> I want to stay in your basement and play Minecraft. Hey, that's Confirmed Spike. for Marvel, Spike is a Thanos level threat, right? <laughs> he, is, he is an Avengers level threat, first off. <laughs> and Twilight's noticing. I mean, they're both purple. Cartoon reviewer Spike. Who has cartoon avatars? <laughs> I was hoping to set up an yeah. independent course of study. I will call it homeschool. <laughs> a place where nobody can socialize and turn into people like Black Griffin. I want to accomplish as much as you have someday. Yeah, well, she accomplished all she accomplished because of friendship. Don't you watch the show, Lester? It'll be hard to do that without friends. Yeah, That's given the theme of every episode we've ever done is about friendship. I want to do as yeah. much as you've done. The Minus name of the show. The friend part. You're going to find it a little tough there, Missy. Friend I want to be better than no you. No one's allowed to be an introvert in this universe. No one. Friendship looks like more of a distraction than anything else, and ultimately, a waste of time. Wow. Yep. We have definitely heard this before. It's this endless circle of book horses. It happens. And the, the, the complete lack of friendship and understanding of it. I love this. I just don't understand why it's um, crucial no. to the survivability of the entire kingdom. No. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. I don't think it's for me. Huge personal disagreement with this wavy haired pony. This is like going into a church and saying God's not real. <laughs> that, that, that's how offensive she's being. These Gen Zers, they think they know everything about everything. No, us millennials, we yeah. came okay, after millennial. the boomers messed everything up. We know what it's like. You need to learn from us. Listen to us, because we know what's best for you Gen Zers. You don't- all... What? What? Burn her. No friends, you're telling me that was even an option? I know you and your friends accomplished a lot together. That was so long ago. That was so long ago. No, no, don't do not do this to me. You're not relevant anymore. That's the thesis. Bye-bye. The main six was forced down my throat, and I loved every minute of it. Hello, royal advisor right here. Thick Magnus right here. <laughs> Hello, I'm huge. How are you missing this? Even in the future, <laughs> ponies don't pay attention to Spike. And I don't Even when he's a massive that. Chad. <laughs> she just nay <nay> made. <laughs> She just keeps carrying on like Spike's not even there. Oh God, what if Spike is Twilight's delusion? Why even make the What if he was face? all along? The face, the face, it's just like. That's a, that's a very, uh, uh, yeah, just, mm. I'm done with you, Lester. <laughs> to the dungeon. You know what, Lester Don? You know what, bitch? You know what, full name TM? Let me tell you why your whole existence is fucking wrong. <laughs> Nobody loves you. You'll never accomplish anything. And your hair is shit. You're right. What? Uh, what have I missed? You are such a help, Spike. So this episode is about Royal Advisor. You don't That's what he does. To make friends. <laughs> Dude, he's having mental breakdowns. Spike literally can't handle the fact that people can't. His have friends. chin is actively getting bigger. <laughs> that's a bit antithetical, isn't it? And that's how Twilight never had any friends again. The end. Da -da -da -da, my little pony. <sighs> it's in the end of the show. Okay, go. Yeah. My little pony, my little pony. Before the theme song, it ended. I'm not skipping the theme. Aw. I'm gonna watch it. Oh, this might be the last time we're gonna hear this. Oh, snap. <laughs> Until you watch it again. It because it's the last time. This is the last time we're ever gonna hear this. I'm gonna see this through. The title screen where Twilight is inexplicably small because we couldn't call this my large pony. I might as well jam it out. The last 
time we will ever see that intro. Yeah. Wow. You're Unless you watch an episode Unless again. You hated it, you're gonna miss it. And don't skip the intro. Mm, I don't think so. It's just... I'm so glad I'm never gonna have to see that again. She used to be so small. She used to be a little pony. And she was mine. <laughs> this is your top student? On this season of America's Next Top Student. Friendships take work. Luster Dawn. Handle this Sally redesign. I'm okay with Twiggy being obviously Sally 2.0. I just don't like her design. Oh, the stained glass. Let's talk about oh, this. Oh, yeah. So we got, we got. Well, on the far left is the students fighting. Bowser. Red Bowser? Red Bowser. Uh, mm -hmm. Flurry Heart. Well, she's not going up. She got, she got spears behind. Look at her. She, she did it. She grew into a horse. Oh, oh, cool. Look, there's new elements of harmony down there. Zapping them into stone. There's Looks a CMC like, um, way in the corner, Flurry which Heart, is cut off uh, right there. It's coronated, so that's pretty cool. Oh my goodness, that's Flurry Heart. This might be the only time in the entire show. I wish show we could have seen her out of stained glass, but. Is that Flurry Heart in the background? Oh, our little baby all grow up. Flurry Heart rise to power, which is really cool and then the not so many six taking down a fire rhino this stained glass is the time we killed a child <laughs> look at her face on it too <laughs> she did oh the student six did something in that uh, stained glass window against a monster hmm so the student six have fought a creature from dauntless flurry heart and the crystal empire survived her puberty and they've <laughs> immortalized their defeat of three villains turning them to stone forevers maybe they can be complicated, they can be messy, and they never go the way you plan. Sounds a lot like having a kid to me. I remember the first time I realized it might not last forever. Oh, flashbacks, baby. Oh, good, we're going back to a flashback. I'm not sure if I could see Twilight like that the whole episode. Wait, a flashback to present day, or was that present day and this is the past now? Because that's really weird. This is a big metaphor, I think. For people who are watching the show because they're not the people writing this are not stupid they know that that's going to be the end the end the end and they're obviously writing about how people feel outside of the show in terms of you know friendships and and if something doesn't last forever how can you make well, it yeah that's or if you think something's fairly not obvious last forever, how can you make it last as long i mean as not completely obvious but... an issue of power ponies now aren't you glad we triple checked Ooh. That's the masked Matterhorn number one comic. is supposed yep. to be the cover of Action Comics number one. That is rare. You don't want to leave that behind, Spike. Maybe my or burn it again. Here. Power ponies, baby. Turn up. Yeah. That motherfucker yeah. worth over ponies. three million bits. We have to hold on to everything. Oh. I mean, not the way she's flailing around. <laughs> you gotta keep in mint condition, <laughs> Twilight. I tell you to, won't you? Won't you? Just like I love PlayStation, or like <laughs> Nintendo. No, 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 no. You know, you know, you taking that. Whether you, whether you like it or love it, we're taking it. We don't have Even if it collects time. dust. I'm not sure how much longer I'll collect it. A lot is changing, and I am getting older. You're older than you've ever been, and now you're even older. He is getting buffer. Trust me. I've seen a nipple. Spike, don't you I've dare seen the that future. in this home. Comics are for babies. So says Spike. Comics are stupid. So he's gonna stop collecting comics? I mean. I'm in my 30s and I'm still collecting ponies. Shut up, Spike. Fucking do it. Just because things change yeah. doesn't mean you leave everything you love behind. I'm my 30s. Look at all these ponies. About. We're not making commentary on outside groups, but if the shoe fits. Who likes existential crises? You're not still worried about ruling Equestria, are you? No. No, I know how to rule with an iron fist. I've never been more ready for anything in my life. Fist? Speak for yourself, Twilight. I'm not ready for this. When we are all fighting to save Equestria from T-Rex, Chrysalis, and Cozy Glow. Aha, front page. Lena Hall is reprising her role in Hedwig and the Angry Inch. That almost said it's full free press. No, they wait. That close. We got Twilight Archie. Look at her face. She's Until the next page. Look at that picture. <laughs> oh, Warface Twilight. What's this shit about pears and apples? I see that in the fucking newspaper. What's this? Sh I want that tea, thank you. Does anyone know the like weird language that like the ponies? No, speak let come on, or, get or to the freak. In? It's ponish. I would like there to be a translation. If there's a Klingon class uh, that you can take in university, then there should be a ponish. ponish written down is really weird. I was too busy to think. Lyra bomb on. Lyra bomb. Oh my. I want to see these reactions so to this. Look at Lyra Bonbon. 
And this coming, of course, from the newly married couple. Congratulations, by the way. I love it. It doesn't even matter what happens from now on because the gays won. So, ha. Oh, this is everything. I'm just, I'm going to be a heap of tears by the time we're done. Fuck. It's a marriage. It's a lesbian marriage. Congratulations. Yo, yeah. oh, Lyra and Bon Bon did sweet drops. Look at that, an entire newspaper page dedicated to the fandom. They were on a seat in season one together, and look where that led them. Because of Isn't us, yeah. That fun. <laughs> Just think about that for a moment. Lyra and Bon Bon, of course, and of course, Derpy. That's us, guys. Derpy! It looks like Derpy's opening a muffin shop. She's not a male mayor anymore. She's a mayor chef. But now it's all happening at once. Oh, and page six. Looks like Cranky Doodle opened a toupee shop. Depressed donkey. What is that? Writing his goddamn dear Why Edna. is he so sad when his hair is that good? And Cranky's dead. <laughs> because it's a wig. It's, it's the obituary. Is it an obituary? <laughs> that's, uh, that's fucked up. They're moving away and they're not, and I can't help but feel like we're leaving them behind. Not leaving them behind, but that does sound like a weird governing structure. What if we all just drift apart? Uh, there's so many lines in this episode that kind of hint at what's to come and also hint at it being the end. And every time I hear one, it gives me chills. This is getting heavy. This yeah. is not what I signed up for, for this magical little show of talking ponies, thank you. Leaving your friends behind. Well, that's to too damn bad now, because you're in it. I've been there. You're locked in, and you better enjoy it. Oh, shit, it's hitting me. Uh, no, I'm not going to do it. No, no, i got to control myself, because it's like this whole notion of like saying goodbye to your friends, and you don't know if you're going to see them again. It's like the show itself, and oh, my God, this is beautiful. I'm so happy. guess I hadn't thought about it like that. I'm really glad Twilight's able to put Spike's optimism in check here. I don't think he's being nearly pessimistic enough. Maybe you should talk to them. Mm -hmm. I bet they're feeling the same way. Royal Advisor of Awesomeness. Gotta hide all my liquor. For God's sakes, Applejack, make another label. I like how Applejack has cornered the Apple market enough to have like an official seal of authenticity. Write the name down of what it is <laughs> on it instead. Okay. No, it's because Applejack can't read. She reads Apple. <laughs> oh my god, that's not apple cider, ain't it? <laughs> my lickies! So no, it's juice. Apple juice. Apple juice. might change with me living in Canterlot? Of course not! Nah, with you gone, I can focus on what's really important. Apples. Applejack's like, eh. <laughs> I'm doing fine. Ah, uh, yes, the old paranoid... I was doing fine before you came here, I'll be fine when you leave. Twitter run. Go ahead, tell me it isn't like that. Anywho, I really need to get all these boxes packed and sorted. <laughs> wow, Applejack. Well, alrighty then, see you later. Applejack is me when any of my friends ask for anything and I know that they're clearly feeling a certain way and they want me to do something and I'm just like, uh-huh, yeah, cool. Oh my gosh, I just made a connection. Applejack's cutie mark is apples because she she works at a farm. I'm not convinced Gummy really took care of the fireworks. Death shit, that's a God, Gummy, get on your connection. A game here. This is the coronation we're talking about. Why would you let a baby alligator near explosives? Why'd you put him in charge of Because he's flowers? awesome at it. No, he didn't. Why did you trust him, Pinky? God, you should not be trusting him in his blinky ass. When has he ever shown a proclivity for stuff that Why shouldn't you? That, you know that boy is deep. the eyes of a man who knows how to take care of fireworks? Yeah, this man has only yes. known fire and blood. <laughs> this man <laughs> doesn't believe in mercy. I guess that's different, but I don't think I mind. No, of course not. I don't like how much this is hitting home right now for me. I feel, I feel for her, bruh. What? Get this shit off my head! Wonderful work, everyone! At least she said everyone and not every freaking creature! Yep, Fluttershy is still doing animal stuff. You and the rest of the dogs are still stuck on that, huh? Arrive in Canterlot at the same time. Did you check Google Maps? Eloise and Hubert, you should go too. Wait, does any of the swans to Canterlot? Don't swans and geese hate each other? I don't think this is gonna jive well with Shining Armor's security plan. Everyone else gets to ride since the trip's too much for your little wings. But why put them in cages? Also, that door just closed itself between shots. Uh, I, I can't, I can't turn it off. I'm sorry. Moving to Canterlot, being crowned. Yeah, that's who you are. You've, you've done it for years. It. Fluttershy, you are the most empathic out of all of them. Come on! I still can't tell if she does that on purpose. It's almost as if she wants you gone. <laughs> yeah, me neither. That feel when all your friends, like, just don't feel the same way you do. <laughs> In three, two, 
Yeah, it sucks. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. I heard some bones. Boom! Concussion! Ooh, stupid. That sounded like both of their skulls cracked. <laughs> they just fucking died! Do you hear the sound? <laughs> <laughs> the sound of, that's the sound of people's hooves turning into paste. Are you sure it needs to be this complicated? <laughs> okay, when Spitfire says you need to dial it back, that's saying something. A high five is a very complicated maneuver. You high five at Mach 6, it's five. <laughs> It's literally like that scene from uh, Predator. <laughs> Dylan! <laughs> Dylan! Look how far they've come. Coming from season one, where they're singing at the gala, to now you're seeing this, end of season nine. Mm. This is, this is, this is really satisfying. Rainbow Dash was just excited to meet yep. Soren the first time. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh! And now she's telling her what to do. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Darling, change is an integral part of fashion. We change to the change to the change we hold dear. I, I think really he confused Sword and Spitfire. I myself clear. I myself am considering opening boutiques for non-ponies. How inclusive, Rarity. Rarity, look at you thinking ahead. Look at you being all freaking, I'm so proud of her. Wow, uh, good for you. She's grown on me these past few seasons. Yeah. Fight me. Things must evolve, or they become stale. <laughs> Spike's still just tucking into those gems that Rarity has. By including the webs of these star spiders. What is the deal with star spiders? Because like we saw them hinted at and kind of, kind of teased in the past, but nothing really happened with them. There is absolutely no way this will turn out bad. Who likes bringing back more I weird see things no from problems like here. E episodes 70 years ago? She has a sweatshop in the bag <laughs> full of spiders. Does that Did Fluttershy approve of this? I call them spiders who work here in my sweatshop. I swear she has some Mexicans in the back. I'm telling you, Hot Diggity Diva is a, he's a prophet. Wait, hold up. I thought Rarity was scared of creepy crawly spider things. Now she has them working for her? So much has changed. Good on you for not being- She's really grown. Where was The empty library? Gives her the feeling of the emptiness inside. So yeah, what happened to Twilight's castle? It's like it's just not Ooh, used at all. You're right, Twilight. I should take my comics to Canada. And there's that change of heart. See, I knew you had it in your spike. Yeah, I'm gonna bring my Nintendo Switch wherever I go. You know, play anywhere, play everywhere. I don't think the Power Ponies. Gotta have that. Just like all of our friends. Hold up, hold up, Twilight. That's harsh even for you. <laughs> I honestly don't know if. I could be Twilight's waifu. <laughs> Flash and Twi are a good canon shipping. I don't think Nintendo. Okay, cares, the world but... has ended. But the commercials. I gotta go with Big Mac so we can go over our packing list, or we won't know who gets what deliveries. There's no count of Big Mac can't read the books. Labels are your friends. I wrote it in clear. Apple. If I don't get them fed, they'll be too pooped to perform. <laughs> Fluttershy said poop. Pooped. Poop. 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 Or they'll just poop on We are so carriage. mature. Which reminds me, I need to go clean my car. And if I do, I'll bring the birds. They'll be pooping all over everybody. Well, I'll be living in Canterlot alone. Might as well take the train alone, too. Ooh. The princess of passive aggressive. Attitude. Dang, girl, it ain't like that. It's, I know it's so busy. Everybody busy nowadays. It <laughs> seems bad, but it's not. Things were fl weren't flapping in that shot. <laughs> so she just floated forward. Hi. Holy Hi. crap. <laughs> wow. Don't be such a hack. Right, salty Sally. Jeez. I was a cold by. Oh, uh, stop. You're so freaking manipulative, purple dumb. Stupid. Wow, being passive aggressive much? Just say what the fuck you're feeling. God, how many times have we gone through this already? Yeah, it's, it's, it's weird. None of you even care. <gasps> I beg thou pardon. She needs a pop of Molly and <laughs> sweat. <laughs> Exactly. Nah, you can't just jump right into the future like that. <laughs> like, they should have a warning before you come back from the commercial break. Like, warning, Twilight looks totally different, and Spike is really huge for some reason. Like, I, I'm not prepared for this. It's been so long since we've seen that bullshit version of Twilight that I completely forgot about it. You moved away, 
friends didn't care. And Hater. Who was that? Who's telling the story here, kid? What could possibly make you think that? I don't know. Maybe yeah, were you listening to the same story? Every request and didn't. She's not even done telling you. I tried to talk to you all about how I was feeling, but you seemed more worried about what you had to do for the coronation. Maybe if you weren't so freaking passive aggressive and just told them exactly how you were feeling, maybe they would have known exactly how you were feeling. <laughs> Stupid! It's true. I was there. Spike's like, I was a witness. I was there. I confirmed this. Y'all bitches. I, I guess I thought if I made it seem like everything was okay. And granted, they probably should have picked up on it, like but... This Discord in the uh, Apple Grove of Truth. Applejack has a truth that she doesn't really want to embrace, so she's trying to work with it. I was just trying to make you feel better. That way I wouldn't feel so terrible. God, that's a fucking mood. Throwing yourself into your work so you don't have to think about... The heavy shit? It's great. They're, they're all repressing the reality of the show ending. Before I moved to Ponyville, I didn't really know what friendship was. Are you saying you used to wonder what friendship could be? You've all taught me so much. I can't believe it all might be ending. It's about the show ending. All I can think about is that we won't be together. I'm literally moving away from you and it's terrifying. I suddenly get why Scootaloo didn't move away in The Last Crusade. They were saving their ammunition for this. Self-referential yeah. in the sense that, oh, we have to split off is the exact same thing that's happening to Generation 4. I'm scared too. Naturally. <laughs> this is the loudest tears I've ever heard in my life. Good, make them louder. Rattle to the core. <laughs> Rattle to yeah. to the core. Yep. <laughs> no Apple crying Jack. on the outside, Applejack. Did Applejack just pull a Big Mac reference? Oh, AJ never cries. She's crying. Did you see the face? I wouldn't say scared. What is wrong with you, Rainbow Dash? I'm not crying. <laughs> Who cries? <laughs> Just because I won't say it doesn't mean I don't feel it. Aww. Rebel Dash is everybody. That's facts, bruh. Where the hell you come from? This is why I like her, okay? She plays tough, but deep down she's a softie and she cares probably more than everybody else. How could anybody not like Rainbow Dash? You're all monsters. I'm gonna miss you so much! <laughs> I just can't stop thinking about how much things are going to change. There's so much here that applies to like the brony fandom about like, you know, moving on and change and all that. It's actually kind of Yeah, that whole scene oh. is just they're this twisting is really that knife. Thick stuff. And oh, so many lines to take out of context and apply to us bronies. What if we don't see each other? Even Rainbow Dash is crying, guys. What if we don't stay friends? What if you unfriend me on LinkedIn? Who's gonna teach me to rain? <laughs> what if you stop reposting minion memes? All those are famous last words. High school graduation. Wow. I never what saw those people again. Those goddamn anti-vax mom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Then we'll have to distance mm, ourselves from them, anti-vax moms. Some, Fuck uh, you. Like I'm saying, I ain't crying. Y'all crying. This is so sad. Alexa, play season one of MLP. The rest of the episode is just them <laughs> crying. They really pulled out all the stops with this one, didn't they? You know it's weird, but knowing you're all as upset as I am actually makes me less worried. What an asshole. Schadenfreude is magic. Cry harder. What kind of life lessons are these? That's why there's no sarcasm allowed in this react. We all have to be equally upset. That's nice. But you should be more worried about missing the train to Canterlot! <gasps> Spike, we're trying to have a fucking moment here. Sorry I'm so late. I actually thought I'd missed you. There's no time! <laughs> Oops. Bye, Starlight. That was so sad. Sorry, Starlight. This is a main six adventure. That was a very appropriate, this isn't about you right now moment. Third wheeled Starlight. Have you all seen my EpiPen? Go on the way! <laughs> uh, I really needed that laugh with this episode. Dang, they really knocked her to the curb. She on she laid out. Whoa, put some chalk there. We're all really important to each other. Me too. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, we missed it. No, you haven't. And and none of us can fly or teleport. <laughs> Come on. Why did you walk? You can teleport. How are they gonna get to the train? Okay, we're on the train. Oh, teleport. Well, that was easy. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Uh, That's how. Yeah, that that works. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. 
fuck my gag, I guess, because they did that thing that I made a joke about again. You're the equivalent of Goku <laughs> with instant transmission, but sure. Let's because they've watched Why these. Teleport to Canterlot. Stop. All right. It's too much Stop more. making she just sense. Her friends. What if a pony had been standing there, Twilight? If she had fingers, she was like. I hope Big Mac can figure out who gets what deliveries on his own. Can Big Mac not read? He labeled everything with the same stamp, so it's not really That's Big not, Mac's yeah. fault. I assume these contain the finest sparkling apple juice. This, this Why don't you water. open the container and double check it? Water Butler thinks he knows what the fuck he's talking about. He hasn't tasted the cider and he's talking like man. I shit. assume this is the finest. Oh hell yeah, from the finest. From from the Applejack fam, what you what you mean? You dirty backwoods yokels don't know the first thing about What do you know cider? about juice and apples, boy? What do you know about sparkling cider, you goddamn swill? Is it sparkling? Are there gold flakes in it? Is this gold schlager? You knuckle dragging troglodyte Neanderthal, <laughs> do you understand? <laughs> yep. Death, taxes, and yup. Oh, the sweet apple acres, apple sauce. It's Gordon Ramsay. Okay, Rumble should be fine. As far as I know, the Hell's Kitchen guy is really nice to kids. Ooh, he really is, yeah. Where the fuck is the lamb sauce? You, 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 <laughs> get the fuck out of my kitchen. This is uh, the apple sauce. He just looks like a real good boy. Give me your jacket and <laughs> fuck off. Uh, yep. Good job. If only there was a way to find out by opening. Wet apple, wet apple, wavy apple, wavy apple, yeah. no, apple with the apple, leaf, tilted apple, apple, wet apple. I like Rarity's face. She looked at the hummingbirds like, ew, gross. And she brought spiders. And I need to meet the Wonderbolts. And she's gone. <laughs> I like her face. She's looking at the window like, who's dead on the inside? Ah, so she's enjoying every minute of this. Ah, chaos. Right back where it should be. Well, it could always be worse. What did we just say about that? What? I really feel like you should be more genre set. You're I love Spike's fate. face where he's like, literally, in the past two episodes, we have said not to say that. Don't say how can things get any worse because they always do. Beep beep, I'm a sheep. Oh my god, why did the sheep cross the, the railroad tracks? I never knew. They need the help of those guys. Well, they didn't. Uh, they stand. Right? They stood there. <laughs> They still got those goofy looking fans on there. <laughs> Goodness, Twilight, are you all right? Princess Luna? No, I'm not all right. Yes. It's just the look of someone who's all right. Luna will be the one to ask that question. Are you all right? Seems to me you have a, you've had a nightmare. My friends and I had a few hiccups on the way. God, I haven't seen that main style in a while. Lesson zero. So many little callbacks. I just, I fucking love it. If you need a moment, that's all right. It is your coronation. Oh man, is this the coronation where she finally absorbs the waviness of the other two? Maybe get cleaned up. You look terrible. Battle to the death. Bacon Brawlers 3. The Purpling. Although it would be nice to get started. Are you ready? Take as long as you want, but hurry up. But take as long as you want, but hurry up. Okay, we gotta get going. Moment, Twiggy. Why does no one ever arrive a day in advance? Oh, I can't do it. What about you? Anything Claire can and will do it. No! That's my sister! She can't possibly be crowned without her coronation. Yeah, it is. She almost went out there naked. Wow. Because fashion, you know, fashion. Citizens of Equestria and beyond. It's time for some god tier stalling. Please wait while she gets in her dress. She's naked. Goddess tier stalling, excuse me. <laughs> Why did you light me on fire? Oh, Big Red is there. Oh, dang, there's the Red Dragon from season one. That's, yeah, that's a callback. Cut. This is the worst celebration ever. My sister and I have ruled this land for quite some time. Why aren't they in dresses? They're so last season. <laughs> Get it? Change well, they are. Eventually comes to us all. And though we know Camper and Tempest unseen, and parents and everybody. Camper. Oh, there's Capper. Show style Capper looks really interesting hi again tempest there's tempest oh and capper oh this is the best <laughs> how many other little callbacks will there be oh, so God, many damn there will be so <laughs> many rose and the doctor rose has her hook on the doctor's hook a couple told you derpy studying the event in preparation for her own coordination after she overthrows twilight it's like That's a super true. smash brothers of ponies it's as natural as the rising and setting of the sun and the moon. Aren't exactly natural in Equestria, are they? Yeah. So it's 
unnatural. Both of which my sister and I feel confident. Oh, Shining's crying because he's just so happy about his baby sister. Oh, yeah, it's uh, Liquid Pride. Yep. Did the Liquid Pride thing. See, I really like this. Like, the, How many people are going to say those words? Show, remember. They remember everything. They, they know all They're not them. crying. It, it, it proves to me that they are just as invested and dedicated as the fans are, which is... You know, probably the reason it's been successful for so long. And so, without further ado... Oh no, there are still spiders. Called it, didn't I? Spiders. spiders. Why wrong. are the spiders there so last minute? If, if she wanted the gown to glow, couldn't they just have used magic or something? Princess Twilight Sparkle! Do a flip! <laughs> she did a flip! flip. <laughs> nice. Dead. Proud of you. Can we get that on a loop, please? <laughs> I can watch that forever. One job. I'm just glad there isn't a Pony National Inquirer. I may have fallen, but I got back up. I as far as you know. Alert. I run this town! Because there kind of was. It was a school paper, Whoa, but that was a gossip yeah. column. Oh, that's kind of neat. That was really cool. The crown is the both of them. That's fucking bitchin'. Uh, she, yeah. I'm starting to get those proud tears, because I'm happy she finally got her, like, Thing, her like princess crown and stuff like that. And yeah, wait like, until it beautiful. really fucking hits you. <laughs> because it will. <laughs> Pretty damn soon. One carrot for all those birds. Do they even eat carrots? Untitled goose game. <laughs> I don't get the snacks that I want that I ain't gonna crown no fucking princess. Mm -mm. Wonderbolts, roll out! Autobots, transform and roll out. I know what you did there, Hasbro. Yep. Yeah, of course they do. This is just gonna turn into a massive shit show, isn't it? Oh, this is about to go chaotic. Dash is the uh, Gummy was aiming for Wonderbolts, by the way. To the Wonderbolt compound and back to Canelot before the whole thing took off? What? Gummy will kill us all. <laughs> <gasps> she barrel rolled for that fucking crown. Oh, no, this is nice. All the callbacks, burnt oak, everybody here. The Twilight! Is the that Twilight. guy from the Zeppelin cruise that I forgot the name so of? Oh my god. Oh, like he's holding his oh my god. I mean, I like the well, fact that they're there. Wives. And then like, Lyra and Bomba are sitting close to each other and they're married and like best canon, but it's just, oh, this, 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 this is crazy. Like, I love this. I'm just smiles. I'm all smiles right now. Smiles and tears later, I guarantee it. That's, that's Someone awesome. fucked up. <laughs> you fucked up. Oh no. But now you're fucked oh. up. I like my cider thick and chunky. And everyone's drinking applesauce. Really want something I can take a bite out of. <laughs> we expect liquid, but got a solid. Ooh. Well, it's halfway in the... Oh, no, 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 no. That is on you, miss. I don't believe in labels. I like how Granny's even looking at him like, you're going to get the back of her hoof later. Oh, no, I'm, I feel for you, Big Mac. Uh, He's going to be like, up. Like, mm. mm, close enough. <laughs> Luna. It still out. tastes like apples. Oh, Luna, you prankster. That's fine. <laughs> I love how Luna's just like, eh. My favorite princess. She just rolls with it. She's like, eh, close enough. We're good. It's done. So let's see it, Luna. Like, this is a really convoluted, stupid ass ceremony. Okay, I get it now. Oh, oh, I forgot this was a thing. I can't just jump right into that. Don't interrupt. Your coronation was such a disaster that you and your friends never really recovered. You're making a lot of assumptions there, kid. Perfect. The end. I hope you all enjoyed the show. It's been a wild ride. See you guys later. Look at this. It says, oh, like, let's go stupid cartoon reviewer. Cartoon reviewers are the freaking worst. Don't talk to them. <laughs> well, you're half right. Yeah, you're half right. Let her finish the story. What really happened is that they all died. The end. You better let her finish the story before you're about to be a cluster. This was the season one finale. This was best night ever. The exact same thing happened in Best Night Ever. Is this a callback? If it is, then cool. If it's not, then... Uh, well, they had the donut shop in the previous episode. Best Night Ever is my favorite episode ever. <laughs> Sorry I'm late. Oh, it's not a flashback anymore. What happened to her mane? Looks very sick. She became a mom. It's so hard to find a sitter with a sense of humor for little cheese. No. No, no, no. Yeah. No. Uh-huh. Oh! Whoa! What? Yeah. Okay. And I love it. I, uh, what? What? 
What? Loyal cheese. See, oh that God. is where Hitman and I just was inconsolable for the rest of the episode. What is that? Whoa. Of course, I've seen it a thousand times already. Nuh uh. Not possible. Unbelievable. Ridiculous. Who that baby from? Who that baby from? I wonder. Pinky and cheese sandwich F bucked. They bucked. Oh my God. They had okay. sex. Canonically, at least one time. <laughs> they did. Wow. <laughs> they did things in the bedroom. That's so crazy to me. Cheese had a baby? There's a baby weirdo? I can't even process that she has a kid. Pinky and cheese sandwich confirmed. Oh, yeah. Pinky's a mom. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, little cheese. Yeah, you know what? My OTP is Pinky Dash, and it will always be Pinky Dash, but... But this is good, too. I love this. She's precious. Heavens, they're multiplying. Little cheese? I mean, at least it's not cheese pie. Is it a cheesecake? Fuck. Did Weird Al Yankovic Pony have sex with Pinky Pie? <laughs> Pinkie Pie sex with Weird Al. Oh, this is crazy. We've all wondered throughout the years <laughs> which one of these ponies is gonna fuck. <laughs> Pinky fucks. Pinky Pie fucked. Pinky Pie got laid. <laughs> oh, little no. cheese, she forked the big cheese. Cheese sandwich, Weird Al cheese stuck his mushroom tip and Pinky sugar oh, for one. Sake. That is candy. You, you Pinky motherfucker! Why did you phrase it like oh that? Oh my god, that is amazing. That is amazing. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's a. I'm gonna insist that, you can go out and say that it was artificial and magical insemination. With this colorful horse. Pinky has a kid with cheese sandwich. Just to what? prove you, just to what? say no oh to that statement, my Jax. Josh, are they all gonna have kids? Oh my gosh, wait. Did my sister get married? Oh, wait. There's gonna be a song too. Oh. Oh, little cheese. Not what I expected this morning. I would have been here sooner, but you would not believe. Oh, now this is nice. <laughs> yeah, and I still admit that she is rarity rocking that gray. 1940s starlets. Oh my god, Rarity, you have aged with grace, darling. Oh my god, Yas Queen. Yas. I like her, the gray. I think it looks really pretty. It, 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 it looks good on her. That gray hair. They're old. Oh my god, they're old. She looks like she's about to skin 101 Dalmatians. Rarity's like... I'm old, that's so a I've got that's a hot take. And she, she looks like angry. she's a tenth level Karen, ready to ask for every advantage <laughs> in the tri-state area. There's so many things like, oh, I don't, I don't like it, but I, but I do like it, but I don't like it. Now I'm getting Revenge of the Nerds flashbacks. Worm, sir. What is a worm? Maybe we could get to places on time if you let me do some of the chores instead of always doing everything yourself. Maybe I would if you did them the right way. Chores. Oh. Maybe I would if you did them. Uh. Whoa, whoa. Oh, yeah, this is the big one. But next is the even bigger one. Are they a couple? Are is what? What? Wait, Maybe so, they wait, wait, wait a second. So are are AJ I, and that is what they're implying. Are, 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 they, are they? I mean I ain't no hate in here, but I'm just like, are they? Yeah, okay then. I mean, now, who's gonna notice the uh, scarf first? <laughs> Applejack and Rainbow Dash are the coolest gay ants in fucking history. I bet they like make motorcycles together and and bake pies on Sunday. That's totally a married thing. Oh, to that, they're lesbians. They're arguing like an old married. They're arguing like an old married couple. Live together. Apple Dash? Is Apple Dash real? Ashley Ball got to get with her <laughs> I'm literally crying. This makes no sense. I'm so confused. Why are they still the same size? I'm so confused. Hold on. Because so they're not the alicorns. And Apple Bloom are, are sisters? Ooh, my shipping senses are tingling. Oh my god, yes. Where's their kid? Oh. So begins the ambiguous yep. moment of people discussing whether AJ and Rainbow were fucking. Oh, it's not ambiguous. I think They're it's... together. 
100%. Because when I do chores with my friends, people go, yeah, they fucking. Wait. Are they implying mm. Apple Dash? Maybe she was just helping her. That's what that is. We're not gonna, no. Mm -mm. Nope, we're not having that cannon. Didn't I say that like at the beginning of something? Like, oh, yeah, we'll find out that they got married or something. <laughs> not, not your preferred chip? What does that make me? I'm confused. Am I gonna get shipped with someone? Let's see. And, uh, yeah, Apple Dash. That'd be a no. She's wearing Granny Smith's scarf. Here we go. I guess she just loaned that to her today, right? Right. Yeah, there's no she other possible Granny reason. Scarf. Oh, Granny. Granny is dead. I just can't, you guys. Yeah, I'm Granny Smith, and you can tell I'm old because I'm dead. Our Fluttershy in Discord. <laughs> Here you go, Fluttershy. Your lunch. Have a good what fun the hell? Have a fun day at school. Un. Freaking believable. Discord is with Flutter. Okay, okay, all right. Mm. I understand. I understand that there's change. I understand that, that you need things more wine. Have to be different. I need more wine to process. Yep. <laughs> I don't know how to react. I don't know what to do. Yep. I don't know what to think. I don't know what to say. Now, what I'm looking forward no, I'm to, opposed to any of this, though, is <laughs> Little Shy's. Reaction. Wow. Race, what have I been missing? To the abundantly clear reference awesome. to Equestria Girls. I am so glad that Fluttershy and Discord still have a good friendship. Like, that is a friendship that transcends time and space. Fluttershy is so cute. Yeah, she's... Also, she's banging Discord. Discord's headed to an O&O convention where he'd be joining us. An O&O &O convention? Oh, that's... That's actually a pretty cool way to write out Discord. Oh my god, they all have little bags under their eyes. It's so cute. Oh Except god, for Twilight. I look so old and tired. That's okay, guys. Me too. I like how visually they, yeah. they, they're older yeah. because they have the lines under their, under their eyes and their hair's doing this a bit. I would have liked to see the characters have, like, matured a bit. It reminds me of how old I'm getting and how old we're all getting. It's like, this show's been around for ten, almost ten years. <laughs> they just surround her like, yes, you will become one with the friendship. She texted everybody in her Discord server. Everybody come through. Her Discord this server. This girl yep. Tom Bell ain't got friends. Yeah, we'll see it to the end. I just assume that since Discord. we aren't together all the time now, that we aren't friends. <laughs> <laughs> you dumb bitch, no. <laughs> yes, let us mock the non-believer. They're kind of like jello shooters. <laughs> Can we just stay in this time? Just, just stay here, please. It's no. This is the last visit to this time. <laughs> <laughs> we literally had this exact scene in Best Night Ever. They've come a long way since the Grand Galloping Gala. That's got to be a callback, right? I know, maybe it was. I think you have a point. Coronation you planned. It's not the coronation you deserve, but it's the one you need. Since you're it's moving one you away, got. we thought if you missed any of us or Ponyville, this might help. It's a book called Go Fuck Yourself because you pushed me over when I was trying to give you your present a piece of shit. Leave to Canterlot and never uh, come back. God damn you, Jesse. Cancel Twilight. Fuck you. Whoa. Let's see what it... Oh. Oh. Whoa. A Harry Potter reference. Sponsored by Apple with live photos. Every page is its own episode. Oh, they gave her the DVD set of the entire series of My Little Pony. That's so precious. A DVD of all of the previous eight seasons of all of your memories. <laughs> That's right, Twilight. While you Nine were figuring seasons, out but... the magic of friendship, we figured out the magic of television. Your entire life is one long staged event, and now we're releasing it on special edition box set as The Twilight Zone. It's a clip show. Yeah, you were expecting the Truman Show joke, but instead you get a really bad pun. I wasn't That's expecting the Truman Show, but... We got you a book of Kyra Spock. It makes sense what you were leading up to. It could have been Truman Show. It's a motion scrapbook. That's like some Harry Potter shit. Okay. That's, someone got it. He opens it up as copyright claims from Hasbro. How are they going to include this episode? It's a coupon That's Applebee's nice. for two for one. Is that the original book? The one we've been... reading... For nine years? Jump cut! Aw, it's a book of memories! Always have this to look back on. I love it. But I don't want to only look back. Yeah, I don't want to look back either. Let's go back to the future and let's figure out who else is dating, please. I don't want to just look back. I look Oh, you shippers. 
I suggest we meet once a moon. Really cool continuity here that her sash is no longer glowing. Good job. My first royal mm. decree as ruler of Equestria is to force you all to live with me. I learned so much. Force you all to Thanks, hang Thanks, Celestia. <laughs> yeah, friendship. Is to establish <laughs> this council of friendship. <laughs> You're not there, Starlight. You and your friends would find your way through it together. Now I know why. Oh, 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 oh. This world spins faster than you know. We know Equestria is in the perfect hook. The head looks so naked without the crown. Sally looks naked yeah. without her tiara. I was kind of hoping they would age like drastically after they gave up their crown. They just. And while we're always. Be and what? Turn to dust? Did you hear the drag of the dress? Intention to detail, fellas. Somebody in the Foley sound room. Yeah, nice Foley work. Don't do that. That's good, right? It's time for us to be on our way. My planet needs me. You just said you'd be here. We hope you'll come and visit us in Silver Shoals. They're going to like a retirement home, but why? Please tell me Silver Shoals <laughs> is in Florida. Don't they still have magic? They could just live wherever they want. Silver Shoals. Sounds like a retirement home. They're just straight up going to the retirement community. We're going to assist in living, Twilight. We'll see you around. What, what, they're just gonna sit and play backgammon all day? Do they die? No, no. Is this their goodbye? But now it's time for you to rule on your own. But she's not a weird, elongated, skinny-shaped pony like you guys yet. How is she gonna rule? That's apparently very important. You, you grow a certain just way at certain Let it happen. It'll apparently. happen. This is the ideal yeah. horse body. You may not like it, but this is peak performance. Pump that alicorn. <laughs> like, oh, penis. I said penis. You're all more than capable. This is so dramatic. Oh, penis. Yeah, yeah. Said. This is the Council of Friendship. That's what you're all doing here? Literally deep state shadow government. They stand in judgment, and you have been found wanting. This looks like the front of a warship. <laughs> I've seen icebreakers with smaller fronts. Yeah, this time every moon. I still don't know how long a moon really is. Rainbow Dash. They never explained that. Is the cutest butch lesbian I've ever seen. I don't know what this like turtleneck mm. leather combo is, but I'm digging it. And her hair, on point. <laughs> what she means is. Bitch, I said what I said. All right. Oh, she's wearing granny suits. We gotta speak for me. Shawl. I mean, I understand that this is in the future, but Granny, I... Mm. I guess yeah. I have to fade away. Maybe making friends isn't the waste of time I thought. Well, that was surprisingly easy. Okay, that's different to what I predicted. I predicted it's fine to be an introvert. They missed an opportunity here to make Luster Dawn's uh, cutie mark a synth wave sun. I've been so focused on my studies, I wouldn't know where to start. Become friends with... 13 people on Facebook by the end of the day, or I swear on my soul, you will not be seen on this. You must place. connect with five professionals on LinkedIn by the end of the day. If you haven't connected with 15 people on Club Penguin by the end of this month. That's all right, because I know exactly where to send you. Club Penguin dead. Oh, she's going to And the song queuing up. Oh, no, we're doing this. Say go to Ponyville. I dare you. I double dare you. Oh, my gosh. If they go into a silent musical montage where she sends her to Ponyville in a chariot just like Twilight, I'm gonna lose it. I really that would have been interesting, fuck but you not the case. Like this. Oh, okay, okay. Take my place and my curse. Okay, Th and that's now the that end. you mention it, though. No, there's, there's still more. This is the part where I feel like I'm gonna cry because of the, cause the song. Oh, God. Okay, here we go. When I started out. Of course, we need to end on a musical. See how Actually. magic it sounds like that. Oh god. You could see it in their faces when it's hitting them like that. Holy balls, that was instant transmission. This is where the magic is. Oh, Derby still delivering mail. I guess that bakery idea didn't pan out. Oh god, it's happening. Oh, they're buried. <laughs> Lyra Vaughn has aged with grace and beauty. I love it. Oh, look at them being so cute. God damn it, I'm so happy that Lyra Vaughn <laughs> is a thing. Oh, Derpy's still delivering the mail. <laughs> no, 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 wait. Derpy was a, a mayor chef last episode. Now she's a male mayor? There they are. Capitalism sucks. 
sucks! Every pony has like a line under their eye to indicate they're old now. It really just makes them look tired. I don't know how I feel about that. Which is fair, because like, the lives they've lived, they deserve a nice long rest. Not dead, but you know. <laughs> they deserve to fucking die. How dare they save everyone over and over. Was that Colt's cutie mark a Zamboni? <laughs> Great. Now the magic of friendship grows. Now let's see the twins. <sighs> Paleo struggling to keep it in. Oh. Oh, those are the babies. They're old now. <laughs> They're adults now. I do appreciate them kind of doing the throwback of all the main, the Ponyville characters all grown up. Oh god. <laughs> Some fun new games to try. Oh, gummy! Wait, 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 wait. Oh my god, is he gummy? Wow, gummy is very big. God damn. He's an alligator. Have you been feeding gummy? Is that gummy? Did gummy grow? Oh, he's... Gummy could not be contained by his small form. <laughs> Oh, Gummy's huge! Oh, Gummy got bigger. They saw the buff reptile thing was working for Nintendo. Everyone's been watching Jack's Blade videos in this future. <laughs> <laughs> Gummy! <laughs> <laughs> oh, there he is! So, okay, cool. And then there's Jizz. There's Jizz. <laughs> I just thought about it. Where's Angel Bunny and all this? I still got beef with him. We're still here together. Notice Spitfire isn't present as she's saying we're still here together. Where's the Wonder Bolts? I need to know this history. What's going on with the Wonder Bolts? I just realized Rainbow Dash became New Wonder Spitfire. Bolts. That's pretty cool. Come on, there's still time to show vinyl one last time. Let's do this. Come on. All these years in Sunburst never understood the use of a comb. Starlight with the Starlight with Harry Potter. Oh, that's so nice! All the shipping came true. Or Trixie would have been nice too. This I'm so happy. Hey, there are the pillars. Uh, as pillars, um, they're probably dead. Our friendships weave together stronger. <gasps> We're back! Look at this, yo! That's crazy. That's crazy, the CMCs! Hey, the CMC are actually big. <laughs> In front of our eyes, they're grown up, bruh. It's crazy, bruh. And Sweetie Belle and Scootaloo, they're all adults. Oh my god. Hey! They're grown up! I know. Oh, they're so, they're so good. Oh, I'm gonna need a moment. Oh, they're old and different. I don't like change. Charlotte's outfit is incredible. Alright, you keep oh saying God. this. I like that Scootaloo's still a cripple. Oh, the CMC are old. Notice Scootaloo's wings are still small. Spike is not uncomfortable <laughs> coming into a room. He's like, man! He, he looks see he's like, security threat! Wipe a single tear. Now who's gonna notice Yo, Goldie's uh teachers? They teach thing. us, bruh. Grow up, you glow up. <laughs> oh, how come Avalon's the only one that gets clothes? We're big. This that's adorable. We're big. We're big. We're giant. We're ponies. We're teaching. Oh, that's so cute. We're teachers. Wow. Yeah, that was is, driving me nuts too, Claire. Lot, Gotta pull that yeah, loose thread. Bumps. Just on my legs though. They haven't made it up to the, the upper half yet. <laughs> oh god, Ray. Yeah, that's really about good. what I expected from you, Jax. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know that feeling. Hey, yeah, Kieran, alright. The Kieran's got out and they're oh they're here now and oh god damn everything. No, they're still working on getting diamond dogs, buffalo, and whatever you would call the Storm King's army. Equestria is literally a melting pot now. Pretty sweet. Come on, come yeah. on, old as hell vinyl, give it to me. I want vinyl with a walker. You're gonna be disappointed. still got a bear on each arm, because, you know, she's old as hell, but, uh... Vinyl fucks. <laughs> and it's something true to pass on down. I can't believe Granny Smith is fucking dead. Granny's dead. Generations yet. 
minute, wait a minute. Oh, look at this. Oh my gosh. Big Mac had a kid with Sugar Bell. Oh! This is Big Mac, huh? <laughs> Well, they're married, so why wouldn't they? Okay, that's a surprise. I'm gonna drown in these fields. Why is that a surprise? Look at Big Mac's hair. Big Mac's like this. Look at his dad hair. This old man. It's been like again, like that is a dad haircut. It's just gonna get worse, my dude. Uh, yo, this looks great. Wait, wait, are, are, are they a couple? No. And a high school romance actually worked out. That's rare. Interspecies mm. relationship right there. They just throw so much at us in one episode. It's too much. Oh, she got my sad bar good for him. <laughs> yeah, smashing that ass. Living of all the things to procreate. Well, Angel had babies. Angel had babies. Oh my god. Angel had sex many times. Angel looks pretty happy about this. My theory is those aren't even Angel's kids, they're just multiverse angels that this quick brought out. <laughs> Angel got some smash gun. Oh god, I'm snotting. Holy crap, you were, yeah, I noticed that. That was disgusting. Hey, Cluster gonna love Discord. I love Flutter's hippie mane, by the way. It looks like her and Treehugger became BFFs, and I approve of that. Hey, look at this. Actually, yeah, why wasn't Sakura in this episode? Where was she for all of this? I kind of miss her now. This is fantastic. It is. This is yeah. so well done. I, I love what they've done here at the end. It's a good way to bring He's it all together. Straight up just wiping oh, the tears God. away. And he's bawling. <laughs> Oh, Paleo trying to be stoic. Jet Just is in me, Iron Man. Derpy. They're just bringing back all the characters, even as like a hey, look, there they are. This is nice. Whoa, whoa, freeze. There she is. There she is. Yep. Yeah, you got a vinyl. Not old vinyl. There's Octavia. <laughs> yes. Best episode ever, right? Yeah. <clears throat> oh, I didn't want to cry. <laughs> oh. Just right to the heart. Also, the music's really good. It's so good. But if you do cry at this scene, you're 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 valid. <laughs> good. This is a blast in the past, so There's sunset. I'm wearing your shirt. I'm glad that they had sunset and flash in the mix there. <laughs> yeah, this is about how I thought this part would go. Just a lot of sniffling and a couple of somber comments. Oh no, they're playing the theme. Nothing about Sunset and Equestria Girls being canon from that guy. That's disappointing. That's a little bit of the end, Daniel, you son of a... <laughs> what a nice Wonderful one. musician. Guess she learned a lesson today. Don't question Twilight, Mother Love, and the book. Sparkle. The book. We still got oh. a fucking hour and three minutes to go. Yep. <laughs> um. 
<sighs> All right. That's that. Um. <laughs> is is the book closing that gets me at the end? Like, that's what got, got me the first time I watched this. The book. They ended it with the book. Now I got him. <laughs> wow. Wow. What a trip, man. Oh, why am I sad? <laughs> because that's it. Oh, fuck you. Oh, shit. They closed the book. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that one gets you. That's got me. I'm there. I'm there. Oh, my God. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> oh, it was good. Yeah. It was good. I'm, I'm there. I'm crying hard, man. I'm sorry. I know I'm a big buff guy crying over, but this is how I actually. <laughs> they did it! They did it! They did it! Fuck! Fuck! They did it! <clears throat> Alright. Well, that's the end. Oh, man. That's the perfect way to end it. Close the book on a generation to remember. Wow. Uh, I'm not crying. I'm not crying. Fuck you. <laughs> it ended on the on the page turn. Oh god damn it. I had this whole time too. I was watching I'm like, it's it's not it's probably not gonna get me. Yeah. I mean it might, but it did. It got me. I literally would never have done so much stuff on the show so It's it's just so cool that that we did this. Nine seasons. The book, right? 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 I does not mean duh. Yeah, the whoa. book. First of all, okay, whoa, whoa. Big whoa. The book closes, and then we cut to Twilight Sparkle opening the book to begin her adventure anew. God damn it, that was right in the fucking feels. Fuck. Uh... This was a really solid way to wrap everything up yeah and uh mm. again I, I for me i think back to not just not just the show but everyone i've met because of the show um everything that's happened with me because of you know whether it's bronies react or or anything else it, it just it, it it hits me because ha, huh, you know it's uh this has been a major life changer Major, and it's You're all your, welcome. and it's all her <laughs> fault. Welcome. It's all her fault. <laughs> no one have met so many people. I wouldn't have been creative on YouTube. I would have done a lot of stuff. So fuck, man. <laughs> I'm not crying. I'm just gonna drown my sorrows in more wine. You'll make me feel better, wine. <sighs> I don't even know what to say. That's crazy. That's okay. I mean, I just think back to all the years <laughs> of conventions and mm -hmm. all the all the time, all the effort, all the hours that have that you know just put into the fandom yeah. and inside of it. And uh, again, it's so cool that that we were able to have it all <laughs> tied up. So no, no, I, I got <laughs> I got mine right here. I she'll yeah. <laughs> Oh, man! Uh, go with the thing of Pikachu. I really don't know what the reaction of everyone else watching this is going to be. If everyone else is, like, either sobbing and crying or just cracking jokes. I'm torn somewhere in the middle, honestly. This is a big moment, but at the same time, you know... Yeah, I guess that's it. It's a big moment. <laughs> uh, great. Uh, yeah. It great. great. It's great. finally over. Great way to end it. It was great. Yeah. It was, uh... And all of it. All of it was great. You know... Not just not just the finale, but all nine yeah. years of this has yeah. just been amazing. <sighs> it's you can hear really it in his voice really now. <sighs> I, I just want to say, everyone out there who's watching this, even though I'm an ugly cry mess right now, I look like such a bit. I don't care. This show, like, it's it made me like want to be more creative and meet all these people. So I'm sorry. Anyone that's put time into the show, anyone that's put time into the fandom, anyone that's 
God, anyone that's just been part of the audience, been part of the fandom, and and has has put, you know, comments or a, a like or a share or just just you know that that have come up over the years and said how much they've enjoyed the Bronies React stuff. Like this hit me at BronyCon, but uh, you know it's hitting me just probably harder now. <laughs> I love you all. I love you all so much. You're so great. You made me feel like I could do something that to change people. And... <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm so grateful I got to be part of this. And... <laughs> Guys, this is uh, it's been amazing. Yeah. It's it's been it's been an incredible ride, and and what a what a great tie-in for everything here. So. Yeah. <laughs> It was good. Good stuff. It was really, really good. I, I promised myself. I was like, I'm going to pull out the tissue box. I'm not going to cry. And I fucking ended up crying. Fuck me. This has been the ride of a lifetime. And it's not over. There's still so much to come. So much to experience. You just, just focusing on the fandom side. Yep. There's so much to this. We're not going anywhere. Yep. I, I mean that as a whole, fandom-wise. And I also mean that, uh, you know, in the foreseeable future with Bronies React. Lots of change, hasn't it? Even in my life. I don't think I've ever followed anything this long. Saber had seen this before me, and all he told me was he cried. Yeah. And I'm like, <laughs> I was like, I was, by the time we were getting near the end of this, I'm like, I wonder if I missed the part where I was supposed to cry at. Yeah. And then the song started up, and I'm like, oh, fuck, this is probably going to be it. I'm just very, I'm so grateful, honestly. <laughs> I'm honestly, like, just... This show did a lot for me, and I'm just... It, it took me out of my shell, made me want to be more creative and meet all these great people, and I'm just so, so grateful for it. It's just... Thank you all so much. <laughs> this is so pathetic, I hate it. Did you cry? No. I cry on the inside. Even Applejack doesn't actually do that. Oh, man, I love you guys. Uh, all the friends I made, I love you all so much. I, I'm with you. I'm with you until you pass on. Like even if the show ends, I'm here for you. Ah man. Uh, geez, race, you happy? You happy? You got to. Race is always happy with that. Crying on your videos about cartoon horses. Oh my god, it's just gonna be so funny. Uh. Symbolically, that's like, that's I I'm in outer space now. Damn. And it's over. <laughs> I have to add some levity. Everybody's probably crying right now in the react. Jack, crying. You bitch. Race best tears up. You bitch. Paleo, you bitch. I don't even care if you're crying or not. You bitch. Black Ribbon, you the ultimate bitch. Oh, the book closed. <laughs> MLP changed my life in the musician's chair. Yeah, we would, you people. know, send very More rough people. drafts of what we were working on, and we would give each other critique and, you know, give each other tips. Everyone was kind of pushing each other 
to be their best. I don't think I've been in any other community that's kind of so tightly knit and capable of driving you so much. It's also shown me what a vibrant, positive community can do. It's given me family and it's just shown me how much positivity can come out. The cool thing about the Brony community is that there's so much creativity. It really sets it apart from other fandoms. It really has helped me mm. develop my skills as a musician. So this is an interesting in thing to... I was able to really... I kind of did this in my reaction at the end of it. It's like I gave quite rapidly my video as far as in a community what it meant to me and what it did for me. And they really helped me out. Started making like really good songs in like less than a year. I still talk with my musician friends. The Brony community is very supportive and wanting to help with creative endeavors. I've met a lot of people in the fandom and mm -hmm. you know, they're genuine people. Really nice to be a part of this community. I have so many new friends that I did not have before and I'm going to different cons and I'm seeing people. My transition has been happening since uh, last June and so many people have been like holy shit i didn't know this about myself until you came out there's so many people who are thankful to to me as someone who is able to be on like silly videos like this that's yeah, really meaningful that people um look up to me in any kind of way i know it's sad because this is the end but Cheers to new beginnings. My name's Jack T. Herbert. I used to be a reactor to various pony videos on YouTube between around uh, 2011 to 2014. So I started relatively early uh, during season one uh, and I met a group of uh, friends. We uh, like traveled from the UK to the US. You know, we, uh, we effectively formed like a music group together. We made a bunch of stuff and we are still friends to this day. And the thing that brought us together in the first place was MLP and as such I feel like that is something I can always be thankful for MLP uh, for, uh, for you know bringing bringing us together and, and creating an everlasting friendship. Actually quite a terrible person before MLP came along I did a lot of things I shouldn't have done and things I regret immensely. Now I'm a much better person Do for it. Still enjoy this guy's no music. Is. But yeah it gave me new insight into what being a good person is and why I should want to. I've been to places I would never have dreamed of going. I've done things I would have never dreamed I'd be doing, met people I had no idea I'd ever meet, and made new friends along the way. It's truly something um, cliche in saying that it's something magical. It really is uh, nothing I've ever experienced in my life has been anything like it. So yeah, um, I can never be thankful enough to the show itself, the fandom, the people who make the show. It's It's been something special, and I hope G5 lives up to that. MLP for me has changed my life in a way that I can't even begin to describe because, you know, as a lonely 19 year old sitting in his room in 2011 and trying to rebuild my life, finding something as simple as that and as nurturing a community as I found in MLP was something that changed my life for the better in almost every conceivable way. I had never experienced popularity before and it helped to not only give me a taste of it, but it also helped to really humble me and teach me the kind of person that I wanted to be because I started out as a piece of shit. MLP and the fandom and the people that I have met through it have helped to ultimately shape the person that I am now. And I really can't even begin to think can't what be my life would be that. like it's if I hadn't. Really it. Even though I don't cool way participate as heavily as I do, it's still the show and the fandom have affected people's lives have the opportunity to leave an impact really happy to hear all this stuff. on it's something great. like this is incredible and MLP gave me that opportunity to go to so many new cities and attend so many events I never would have gone to learn so many new skills I never thought I could learn I interviewed people I never thought I could meet uh, I made friends from parts of the world I never thought I would go to for me what was important was the people that I met and the people who I'm still great friends with today. My name is Silen. I'm an audio engineer and an orchestral music producer. It's been about seven years since I was on Brony's React. First discovered the show when I was in college. I had just mm. gotten started and really wasn't liking what I was doing. Discovered all of this. Not familiar with him. 
music that was being created by the fandom. The amount of talent that came from this music community is just incredible. And you've got some guys that have gone on to make music careers of their own that got their start here. I decided I wanted to do that because I love soundtrack music. So I decided to pick up on them myself, and I don't know if I ever really would have. I still talk to a lot of those guys to this very day, and they're great people, and I'm thankful for them being in my life. My years in this community have been some of my best years. If it weren't for this show, I may never have become as ingrained in audio work as I am now. MLP has changed my life in a lot of ways. It allowed me to find my passion in music and, and rapping and writing. Before I became a brony, I didn't really have friends. When my popularity just exploded overnight with uh, with my music and being featured on EQD. I suddenly found people who wanted to get to know me, who wanted to work with me, who wanted to be my friend. One of the biggest blessings in my life. I've met a lot of people over the years that have just changed me for the better as a person. And it was thanks to this show. This show's been a pretty core part of my life for the past eight years. Uh -huh. You can see all the stuff up behind me. I'm OG season one. For those of you who don't know, I am uh, the person who was one of the editors and uh, coordinators for Ponies the Anthology series. Right. I got to that point through eight years of continuously learning how to do editing work. Seeing other people do videos with this show was what got me to start. 2011 me would be mind blown of like how much skill and how many advances in skill I had made. It's allowed me to explore my more artistic side. It allowed me to learn how to be comfortable with myself in front of, um, I guess a crowd, doing stuff in front of conventions and panels. It helped me make a lot of new lifelong friends. I roomed or I lived with people who I met through this fandom. I have my current job tangentially because of an acquaintance I have. I probably am with my current partner because of people who I knew in this fandom. It's been a great eight years, and I would not trade any of it for the world. I'm Ian, uh, or Artie Spartan. And I'm Thomas, aka Twilight Spartan. Don't this cry, is... don't yeah, cry. We take uh, our helmets off holy the first shit. and you cry. <laughs> oh, fuck, dude. <laughs> my journey began uh, 2011. I was up in Kodiak, Alaska with the military. My first winter away from family. And if you know anything about living that far up north, you get about two hours of daylight. It was rough. I was tired, I was depressed all the time. I was away from family and the holidays were coming around. So a friend introduced me to the show. It was like a nightlight. I could have lived without it, but it was definitely helpful. Through that, I met a lot of friends that were in, uh, on the internet with the military. I went to my first con in uh, TrotCon, and I went there with security, and that's where I met this guy. As a person, I kind of realized, okay, you know, not everyone's as well adjusted to me, uh, uh, to social interactions as I am. And I got to meet people that were different from me, and it, I mean, as cheesy as that sounds, I got to appreciate people that weren't me. I met some great friends that I'll have for life. Um, I met my girlfriend. Has my life changed at all? Absolutely. I'm a better person, and I'm better off in life because of the show. I can't draw. I suck at music. I can build armor okay, so this is the only way I'm going to do it. And he was just running security, and it's just me doing my usual, I'm a goof in armor. We just started keep playing off each other, and it was a real good time. Has My Little Pony changed my life? Absolutely. It's definitely enticed me to try new things. Yeah. And honestly, I've become a more social person. Um, I've definitely become a better armor builder. I wouldn't have dreamed of building something like yeah. this. Thank you very much. This has been Fire Team Harmony, and uh, you guys are awesome. Thank you. Bye. Hi, it's me, Diana Karina, and I just wanted to say, first of all, congratulations, MLP, mm. on a fantastic run, the opportunity to work with and meet so many amazing people, um, from the actors to the directors, producers, story writers, animators, everyone who's been involved, not the least of which is the fan base, the bronies, and the amazing people who have been such a fantastic support for MLP and who have loved it through all of the years that it's been here. And hopefully it will continue to live on forever with all of you. Thank you for all of your support and congratulations on an amazing run. Hey everyone, Devin Dalton here, AKA Ocellus. 
My Little Pony has absolutely changed my life. Awesome. For the better. Voicing Seeing this these voice actors has is been cool too. a highlight for me personally and in my career. And I feel super, super honored and extremely proud to be a part of the My Little Pony family. And I think it's safe to say it's so much more than a show. Beautiful, beautiful message involved. And I know that it is certainly not the end. The adventures no, of course and not. the love and the sharing and the generosity and the friendship will live on in myself and my fellow cast and crew mates and absolutely through each and every one of you. Thank you. Cheers to My Little Pony. Cheers to El Salas. Cheers to my friends. Um, friendship really is magic. Just kind of reinforced my faith in the fact that there's a lot of good people in the world. Just the amount of care and kindness and just sort of respect shown to me personally, it's been really, really a privilege to be able to say thank you in person to the people who watch the work that we do, that I personally do. Without an audience, I can't be an actor. And so it's been really gratifying. I'm sorry if I'm not familiar with all the names even of the actors. Thank you for allowing me to do the things that bring me so much joy. I feel like I've gotten so much more than I could ever express. It brought the Vancouver voice acting community closer together. It gave us an opportunity to socialize with each other in a different way than we had before. And that is a really, really cool thing that I don't think anybody could have expected from from mm. doing this show. That's how it's changed my life. So those, those are pretty good things. I was asked, how did My Little Pony change your life? And the answer is, I got this shirt. The people, meeting directors, <laughs> other actors, artists, people from the crew to conventions, everyone in between. Um, thank you to the fans who have... It's cool around. round trip she's wearing your shirt for One the video. you started watching, but you're the reason that we were on for so long and got to do so many amazing fun things. It's sad that it's come to an end, but it's not really over when there's such a great community like you guys out there. We'll always be around. That's what everyone is saying. And I'm very yeah, I, I'm sticking around. The amazing artist things I have that's been given to me. Yes, it's, it's you guys. And you guys have changed my life. Thank you. Yuck! Thankful for everyone from my little pony. Bye! It helped me really galvanize my sense of ambition. I literally found my voice. I was able to take that with me and start kind of trying to build a sort of a career around it. Made a lot of really great friends over the years. I've learned a lot of things about myself. MLP, you know, as a, as a community, as a fandom, really drove me to be better. I've become a better friend. I've uh, gotten a lot better about drawing boundaries and distancing myself from people I shouldn't be near and focusing my energy on things and people I should be near. This community taught me how to appreciate people and be humble. Uh, I owe that to all of you guys. Thanks everyone, it's been a, a spectacular ride from start to finish. Uh, I'm glad we got to be here together. It was a treat. Without this show, I wouldn't be in the place that I am now at all. Like, I wouldn't know pretty much all the friends that I talk to on a daily basis. Uh, and I wouldn't be like traveling the, the country to go to the different conventions. Um, I probably wouldn't have uh, continued doing thing. YouTube stuff. It definitely defined part of my life throughout the 2010s and continues to do so because I'm going to be going to conventions still. It's hard to imagine my well, life maybe not so much this, this year, because unfortunately. Because I wouldn't know pretty much At this everyone time. that uh, I know mm -hmm. today. I really love the show and I continue to love the show uh, even after its ending. It suddenly changed my life for the better, I think. When the MLP came out, I was going through a very sad hey, and, and sudden breakup. My nan was very ill at the time. She's in heaven now, but um, at the time she was very ill. So I was in a very, very sad place. One of my friends was like, hey, you should watch this show. Uh, my Little Pony, Friendship is Magic. And I was like, oh, what? <laughs> a really nice and positive refreshment from sad things happening at the time. It was like right up my alley. I met some lovely people I call my friends now. My character range 
um, with voice acting has progressed. It was just great being exposed to that and seeing what all these wonderful voice actresses did with these characters. Due to MLP, I've got to collaborate with like such talented people. All the places I've been to, I've met all sorts of people and they've all been so lovely making these new wonderful friends through the this My Little Pony craze. There was a particular episode of MLP that mm. helped me mend my relationship with my little brother. I was able to develop myself and better myself as a person. There was something special about MLP. I got to go to conventions and meet a lot of people. To have the person come up you to were me really in brightly and lit, tell you dude. that you helped me, you saved me, that means so much to me. It's also helped yeah, I can't me even meet a lot of good friends, lifelong friends. I have the so feeling like, with the show, yeah. But, I probably wouldn't like, have I have that feeling. Like, I'm the one who and dragons as I, as I did. I probably never would have moved to Texas. I probably would not have met my fiance if it wasn't for MLP. I do mm. owe a lot to this show. Hello! <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm David Dwayne Hammonds, and during the heyday of the Brony fandom, I played a character called Joe Stevens, a yellow journalist investigating all the heinous things going on in the world of My Little Pony. He called it the Equestrian Choir, and Tech Rat, and LTT Moose, and the other people that get involved. And so I got invited to BronyCon, and here I am, a fake journalist, doing real journalism, interviewing real people, breaking stories. I was there when the fire broke out at BronyCon, and I had to, to do some discipline to make sure that I could put together a weekly program that was always funny. And I got an agent and I got to pitch at Nickelodeon. I did all these great things and it was because of brony, bronies and, and the, the show My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic, that I had all these opportunities. Because of the encouragement and the joy I felt doing this, I said, this is what I have to dedicate my life to. But I don't think I would have had the courage to take the path I did. I can honestly say my life is different and changed for the better because of My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic. Self-worth, self-love, self-discipline, all wrapping in a bag of, of a present called self-acceptance. MLP has helped me acknowledge these traits. This is meaningful to me and and if not to everybody, this is meaningful to me. But there is no lack of better term. MLP has shown me that my story, you know, the story's not over. I thought my story was over years ago. But I mean, yeah, you write your story. Y even if it means stepping out of your box. Step out of the box, X out the options at hand, egg me on over easy, we'll see how it pans. As long as you show, choose to pick up a pen, you write your own story, so see how it ends. Meeting new people, all in the span of just watching a great show. That was really nice. All the common interests of watching a great show. No other way to say it at this point except thank you. The show has been a constant motivation. Every right. now and then, there's an episode that just hits home. And it makes me feel like I need to do better or be better. Cosplaying Snowflake has kept me in the gym a lot more than I normally would be. With the bronies, with pony conventions, I got there and I just dove in. Because I knew that everyone here had that one thing in common. My Little Pony. And from there, we would branch out to other things. It made me feel at home. And that was not a feeling that I'd ever had before. And I don't know if I'll ever have again. It changed everything. It was the first community. I haven't seen this guy in a while. In online. It allowed me to be much more creative and increased my confidence. I was drowning in cynicism. It was subconsciously looking for something positive, upbeat, genuine, and affirming. Literally everybody in my social circle now, everybody that I associate with, I met all of you through the show. Changed my value system for the better. Gave me more of an optimistic outlook towards a lot of things where before it was a lot of more blunt cynicism and reshaped my social circles to being around people who helped me see that there was value in who I was and what I was doing in a way that I didn't have by myself. Thank you, Lauren Faust. Dress horse is still best horse, seven years strong. Don't forget. Because of that fandom, I was able to, to start experimenting with all sorts of stuff that 
I didn't know anything about. You can pick up a new craft without fear of judgment. Expanded my collection of silly instruments and, and accessories. Uh, I still got my, my kazoos. It was, it was fantastic. I was able to go up on stage in front of a packed auditorium, play some stupid instruments, get everyone hyped, I, I, I felt like I was a rock star for a few years. It was great. It's had this lasting impact on, on who I am as a person. I wouldn't have given up my my heyday in the fandom for anything. Thanks to the show, I was able to really just embrace being this goofball. It helped me rediscover sincerity, empathy, tolerance. The real My Little Pony was the friends we made along the way. I took an interest in the show, and then I was impressed by the creativity of the fandom, so I tried my hand at making comics. One of my comics got featured on Equestria Daily, and it was just such an amazing feeling to connect with people on this creative level. I'm doing a lot. I've never been this involved in, uh, in a fandom before, and I have never had this sustained uh, rhythm of creativity. I don't regret my time in this community. I don't regret putting myself out there. Even the moments that hurt, the benefit and the knowledge that I've uh, gotten to be a positive impact in people's lives well, uh, so, through yeah, my creative exactly. work, that means a lot to me. I'll always be grateful for this experience, for this insight, uh, for this fandom, and for this show that made it all possible. How has MLP changed your life? Oh God, here comes the crying. I found Mag. I I, fa I I came into the fandom. If there's and no bigger change than that. And MLP, a little sh a little show about talking ponies, for little girls, pulled me out of my worst. Like if I could talk to past me, I, I wouldn't believe it for a goddamn <laughs> second. <laughs> Same. Right. That's the reason why I love the show so much was the fact that it it encapsulized what everybody really wants is just like just real friendship. I'm happy because the show brought me some of my dearest friends and it brought me a lot more than I would have ever expected. Yeah, my dearest friends are are those who I found through this fandom as well. And we're so lucky, like a couple of them have even moved close to us and obviously her. Uh, and I will have you know, I found her, not vice versa. Oh, God damn it! I never knew what I was capable of before Pony. It's mind-boggling how that show has brought together so many people. It's up to <laughs> us to keep the sh keep the fandom and to keep the show and the spirit alive. It really is. Yeah. And that's why, like, when everyone's like, oh, it's all over. I'm like, no, it's not. As long as we keep, you know, creating content and enjoying what G4 is and what this show has brought us. Basically, MLP is amazing. And I just, I think we're forever grateful to the show yeah. for, for everything it's done. We are. I watched, like, the first episode and I'm like, oh, my God. I'm gonna be watching the rest of this stupid show and I'm gonna enjoy it. I started making <laughs> gags on my YouTube channel um, about the My Little Pony show and because the My Little Pony show had exploded, um, lots of people saw those videos. It was like a resurgence in my thought like, hey, maybe I can go somewhere with this. None of that would have happened if it weren't for ponies. Uh, me traveling to America like five times never would have happened due to ponies. I got people like coming up to me and being like, hey, those stupid videos you made, uh, I really liked them and had a good time with them. This was a hobby for me for a long time. And now it really feels like I'm making a difference. Uh, it's super cool. If it wasn't for ponies, then I would not be anywhere near where I am right now. And I'm eternally grateful for that. I started discovering like, that there were all the people in the brony community around it and uh, so I can't say much to all of this. A, a My Little Pony convention friend of my mom's, his son and I used to be friends when we were little kids, and then we all went out and got lunch because we were both in town at the same time. We are both back from college. And they brought it up, just like kind of as a side thing, like, oh, you know, I've been watching the show. And he was like, oh my god, you watch it too? Like, let's go to BronyCon. I was like, alright, let's do it. And then that, that set it off. Yeah. And then so I went to every BronyCon since then. 2016. I, uh, I showed up at Brony Com was like, I want to meet that Saber Spark guy, and then the world was my giant, my giant bird wings. <laughs> she put on her, her mating display, and I was like, pretty hot. <laughs> yeah, I met my handsome boyfriend. That's me. It was me, right? Career-wise, like, 
this has helped me enormously. I am Sweetie Belle. Sweetie Belle is me. It's my character and, and that's like a really cool thing to kind of have under your belt as someone who is in this industry. It's given me a lot of like life experiences for sure and traveling and dealing with like school and traveling at the same time. And it's literally a half of my life. Like it's a decade. I've been doing this for a decade and it's crazy to think that it's suddenly like gonna be over. Hashtag blessed to be traveling and meeting people, having a fan base that's so dedicated and 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 nice and generous that they can like still support me in like creating whatever I want to do now that has almost nothing to do with the show. Like that's crazy. So the question is, how has My Little Pony changed okay. my life? And I mean, the, the honest answer is in quite a lot of ways, but the most notable is probably the restraining orders. Um, <laughs> I had to get the restraining order against. AC race best, which just doesn't work, like, no matter how many I try. Um, I got one against Saber Spark back in season two. Dusty Cat. How has My Little Pony changed my life? <laughs> I've made friends that will last forever. I've met so many talented, creative individuals that I have incredible respect for. Name. And I bought way too many t-shirts. The restraining order against Jack Blade as well. <laughs> um, Viva Reverie, of course. Brony Dance Party. Mm -hmm. I mean, don't we all? My Little Pony, above all else, has taught me to keep an open mind. You know, not judge a book by its cover, all of that jazz. Now, I think the, the reason that stands out to me is because it was sort of the first lesson I learned in the very early development stages of the show, when we all had to decide, like, okay, are we going to sure sort of ignore this and jump to conclusions based on what's on paper and what other people are telling us or are we going to actually make an effort to connect with these people and try and understand what it is in the show that they're drawn to of course i think all of us chose the latter including myself and it was one of the best decisions i've ever made there's so many ways to apply open-mindedness in your everyday life and it is something i will continue to do for the rest of my years and yeah my little pony man what a what a ride paleo i actually have three restraining orders against paleo stem <laughs> um one's just for fun the other two are kind of necessary uh let's see, no whacking needed one there for sure mike the microphone also restraining order um black griffin who am i missing silver quill look at this stuff isn't it neat uh, there's a lot of them. My collections sort of complete. I love you guys. I'm gonna miss the show. I'm gonna miss the people. I'm gonna miss going to conventions and seeing people. I guess conventions still can exist, right? I also love that Flash Sentry is everyone's favorite human slash pony. Yeah, And that everyone ships flashlight. That's something that I really appreciate from the fan. Yeah, it's so 100% everyone everybody went. does, yeah. Every fan I met I was just really into this, and it just brings me so much joy, and it really touches my heart. So thank you guys. I love you as much as you guys love these guys. Together. Forever. I just want to say thank you to everyone involved in this show. You're a cheeky so bastard. To be part of it. Uh, this show has allowed me to travel the world to see and meet amazing people and experience true humanity is something that you don't see every day. You guys have shown me how to love, how to be extremely selfless. You guys do so much for the world and this show has done so much for so many people across this world. So I just feel very, very blessed to be a part That's of beautiful. The Lost Narrator, <laughs> Magpie Thank Pony also. Um, had to get a restraining order against Peter New. Um, <laughs> yeah. Who else? Hasbro. Uh, Hasbro got a restraining order on you. That's why it has to stay up there. Can't come near me. Hi, I'm Sunny Westbrook. I'm the voice of Cozy Glow. Being on Pony has absolutely changed my life for the better. And one of the ways it's done that is it's made me a better actor. Getting to work with that cast and with those women, watching them switch back and forth between characters, listening to them screw up their lines, watching them drop in little bits of improv. It has encouraged me to take bigger chances, make bigger choices. It's, um, 
absolutely made me a better performer for having the privilege of being well, on that show and working. Was with a good with performance. Her. I have been viewing the the my, my relationships through the elements of harmony, and what elements might be missing. So think about it. Like if you have a friendship where there's a lot of laughter and a lot of honesty, but a little short on kindness, it gets a little weird. Just having the elements of harmony in my my life toolkit has made me a much better person for having been on the show. It's It's been a real privilege to be a part of. Anyone else? Living Tombstone, Eileen Monty, Private Stampede, GM Barrow, um, pretty much annually I get I get a new one against GM Barrow. Hey everyone, it's Jillian. <laughs> like many of you, I have made Speaking some of. really great friends from this show and from meeting all of you guys at fan conventions and that to me has been the most awesome part. It's been a really amazing chance for me to have my creative voice be heard and to get to write books and episodes and contribute to, you know, just this idea that kindness matters and loyalty and all of these things, all of these elements make up to be magic and I just really believe that and I'm so yeah, happy the, the to have on. you and I'm happy to have worked on this show. Sorry, it's, it's a little so distracting. <laughs> and always will be. And I don't really feel that it's over. I think that as long as it lives on in our hearts and the experience has made a big impression on all of us, it's here to stay and the ponies aren't gone and they never really will be. So thank you guys and I hope that you've enjoyed it as much as I have. Beavids, oh man, that guy. If you ever need a restraining order against Beavids, good luck. Um, I bring the lulls. That was pretty easy to get. Everybody kind of, everybody kind of automatically has one, so that one was easy. Um, DHX, Rainbow Dash. Um, I think that's it. That's all of them. So that's a pretty big uh, life change, you know. Hi everyone, my name is Peter New and I was a voice actor on wow, the Pony for really going nine deep, huh? seasons. I'm grateful for uh, the work that I had. I'm grateful for the time that I got to spend in the studio and for the time I got to spend honing my craft. On a deeper level, I'm grateful for the friends that I made in the crew, the cast, uh, and then out in the larger community. You know, if you want to talk about the thing that I'm the most grateful for, ultimately, I, I don't think there's any question that it has to be that it's through this fandom that I met my wife, who is the light for me. And yeah, this is a, that's beautiful. I'm, I love um, to I hear that, that type of stuff happening. This show, so what else can compare with that? She's amazing. I love her. It's been an honor, you guys. It's been a genuine honor, and I, and I love you all. Did I mention the travel? I love the travel. Come on, that's been amazing. So on a more serious note, being involved with My Little Pony has been the experience of a lifetime. I can't imagine there's too many people who do what I do who got to go through something like this. Um, but just from getting to write stories with these characters, playing around in Equestria, getting to watch the episodes when they're finished, um, getting to go to conventions and meet fans and have discussions about the show and what it means to people, uh, it's really been the thrill of a lifetime um, and so incredibly meaningful to me to hear people's stories about how it's affected them too so thank you all for letting me be a part of it and even this stupid bronies react thing that too thanks guys um, see you on the next show first started watching I think in like 2011 had like this direct Kind of connection with some of the people that were out there in the community especially the editors where i was making videos i was creating content and i was getting a direct feedback and to me it was this kind of community that was very encouraging very fun and just new and fresh that wasn't really seen on the internet I kind of realized that i did want to get into video editing i did want to do this full time i've just met so many great people and had so many great friendships kind of spawn from that my wife uh, Casey, uh, I met her through basically like friends of friends and through this community. So, I mean, I wouldn't be married to this day if it weren't for MLP. Created a lot of great friendships, 
have a lot of great memories to look back on and really just wouldn't have traded it for anything. That seems to be very... Like, it really has helped me... Very common. It's like that's the whole point. It is friendship. It's uh, all about that. Open up a lot of opportunities and doors to the kind of people that I, you know, consider my friends to this day. Changed my life in tremendous ways. It's like I got into the show back in like late 2011. I mean, I just wanted to watch the cartoons that everybody else was talking about on the internet. Like, whoa, there's a community behind this. Cool. And then just seeing it evolve. All the folks in Burners React, I've met them through this stuff. What a bizarre and unexpected way to bring people together over something that they're so passionate about. It's never going to happen again like this. It was life changing. It was life changing. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to miss it. Wouldn't have met my best friends. Wouldn't have met my girlfriend. Wouldn't have got my job. So thank you, My Little Pony. Thank you for the folks who made it. You guys mm. did some great stuff. Lauren Faust, thank you the most. For, for being, for all your hard work. And for putting something into motion that's just set up ripple effects across the world. So, uh, love you, horse mom. And love you, other horse family. And, uh, yeah. Uh, CNG5. Oh, fuck me, right? <laughs> fuck. <laughs> fuck! I would say the biggest thing would be all the friends that I've made along the way. And, and the, um, just the awesome experiences that I've had. I've always been trying to figure out what I want to do. And I think MLP helped me figure it out that I wanted to work in, like, some, that I wanted to work in entertainment, that I wanted yeah. to do a, animation stuff and all that. That having friends along the way is, you know, what helps keep you sane and, yeah. and helps you at least like get the support that you need. And, you know, I wouldn't be out here if I hadn't watched the show and made all the friends that I did. Just the people that you meet and the way that you you kind of uh, foster those friendships is really going to be the longer lasting thing than the yeah. show could have ever been. I've met a lot of really cool people, and I feel like the friends that I still have to this day are going to be lifelong friends. Don't let conventions or a show end mean that your friendship has to Eventually, end like literally yeah. you can continue on discord and play games you can still chat on the phone you can still text each other you can still meet up try to make the effort and keep the channels open to communicate with your friends hey every pony it's kathy westlock uh. how has my little pony friendship is magic how has that changed my life well i like donuts more than ever that's for sure um but i would have to say in a nutshell simply the fact of having the chance to meet all of you and spreading uh, the message of love and friendship and all of the messages that the elements of harmony reflect. That's what I would say. But I think we need to ask Spike, don't you? So let's see what he says. What do you think, Spike? He's got a message for you. <laughs> yeah. What he said. Hugs to everybody. The show lives in my heart as I know it lives in yours. I'm not even going to do the voice for the joke. <laughs> Ten years. When you work on it, literally. <laughs> Uh, huge in this universal you just start to be known uh, and I think this probably goes for everyone who worked on the show you get to be known for that like for your role in My Little Pony every time I get introduced to someone new it's kind of like hey this is Daniel he he writes songs on My Little Pony and people people know what that means that's just like a, a gr total trip to to be part of something that's so well recognized in addition to just yeah. these opportunities so many people that, have you know, just travel fallen in love with your music dude all these so. uh, call cultures and walks of life and work with amazing artists if it wasn't for what you did the sound with. and making the feel uh, for the, the show, show kind of changes you, you so by getting it. into your really dna good. it um it's so packed with uh, there's so much more to it but that examples of how you know to be a better person um, i mean it's a show about Horses. That's really about humanity, and um, those the messages sound is a key just are reinforced like, a sorry. million times just... over by the actual people in the community you meet. How can that not affect who you are, and um, really help you become humble and aspire to um, really learn from from all of those experiences? I think the harder question for me to answer would really be how has it not affected my life in the last ten years? It's kind of been everything. And grateful for that. Hey, this is Andrea. So I was asked, wow. how did My Little Pony Friendship is Magic change my life? I don't know why I'm surprised at seeing their faces now, Super cheesy but... answer. <laughs> the way it's really changed my life is through friendships. Uh, I've met so many incredible people um, through working on the show. Other actors, but also people on the other side of the glass. Writers, artists, directors, producers. Um, as well as fans that I've met through the show that have been absolutely incredible. And I've formed so many amazing friendships, lifelong friendships, uh, super fulfilling friendships. Um, and I'm very, very grateful for that.
I can remember at the first Borny convention that I went to, which was Everfree Northwest, we were asked when we were on stage, what do you think of this whole, like, Borny phenomenon? Like, this whole MLP thing that's happened. Um, and uh, I can remember that I said that, well, I think it's like a car crash. You know, the event happens, and then all these people gather, and the crowd is there, and they're watching, and then all of a sudden they turn to each other, and they're like, hey, man, I like that shirt. I bought a shirt just like that the other week. And they're like, oh, man, hold that. I really like your style. Your style is amazing. And then that's how the phenomenon happened. It was a thing around a thing. And needless to say, the people on stage with me kind of objected. They were like, no, it's because of the brilliance of us and the Lauren and the thing with the... Aga, aga, aga. Um, but here's the thing. None of us really knows what happened. It's a, a mystery. It is, oh, sweet mystery of life, unless I found you. We don't know what happened. It, it just kind of happened. In the universe. And all I know is that I'm extremely, extremely grateful for it. Because, like many great things, most great things, I would not have chosen it. I wouldn't have put it on my vision board. Look, I need to meet all these people, and I need to go to all of these places, and I need to have all this creativity going burble, 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 like Yellowstone Park around me. I wouldn't have chosen it. But in its infinite wisdom, this introvert was catapulted by the universe into this insane party. And uh, I'm, I'm really 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 uh, happy and stoked and amazed to have been a part of it and I'm so grateful for all the things people have given me over the years you guys no you no you guys you're amazing anyway darlings um, I'm just going to sign out now before I say anything too insane <laughs> too late <laughs> okay bye I met some of my best friends through the show I don't think of it as being because of the show and when I hang out with Jeff or Steven, AC Wraith, Buster Saber Spark, because we don't, you know, we don't talk about it most of the time. We're just hanging out. But the truth is that I wouldn't have met them. I wouldn't have met you yeah. if it wasn't for this show. And I have no idea where my life would be right now. I certainly wouldn't be here. I'm not a very sentimental person, but when I think about it, I go, wow, you know, this show actually has changed my life because I have no idea what my life would be like if it weren't for My Little Pony. It's actually bittersweet. Like, I know a lot of people are really sad that the show is ending, but I look, this final, you know, finale makes me look back on everything and just kind of wraps it all together for me and makes me go, oh, wow, that really has been a part of my life for a very, very long time. Yeah. It encompasses everything that happened, whether or not it was related to My Little Pony. It, it encompasses all of that from when I joined the military, which is when My Little Pony started airing. It's crazy to look back on all that and, and, and think about how it's actually affected me a lot more than maybe I realized. Whatever happened yeah. surrounding the show That's is unique and something you couldn't have planned and something that probably couldn't be duplicated. It's just one of those magical things that happens in this world. It changed uh, the world in a way for the better. And, uh, you know, it was a game changer. Yeah. Like you said, this was unheard of, and especially in the industry in Vancouver, you know, that a show like this, and probably unheard of in the history of, you know, and any TV show that a cartoon for children would attract such a massive, massive audience of yeah. all ages and all genders and all, you know, walks of life and all professions. At the very end of the show, when the book closes, I felt like that's not the show in that book, that's my life. All the good experiences, all the bad experiences, everything I've learned through My Little Pony and through just living life is all contained in the in span that. of time from when I started watching the show nine years ago now and uh, yeah and it's changed my life incredibly and i wouldn't have met you yeah. my mom texted me oh oh <laughs> as a guy who's been uh... since very little i i am very obsessed with everything that's out there and and uh, there's a lot of stuff that's that's often you know not not very easy to explain why people like it and and it, being an israeli i i remember it was even harder for me to just be on the internet and, and make the stuff that I want to make and also not necessarily have to always have to explain why do I like a certain thing or so. And the Mother Pony community was everything that to me was very important because I, I really wanted to find my footing in such a way that I can make what I love but also 
you know, appreciate with the stuff that aesthetically is very pleasing to me. And I think Mazatoni, you know, shares a lot of the values of being friendly and, and being very colorful and, 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 and to always promote positivity uh, in, in such a huge volume. This is what was really important to me. And I remember that when I started being on the Phantom, I had huge imposter syndrome because, you know, again, being from Israel, I didn't necessarily have anyone listening to what I do, like let alone my music. And because of it, suddenly the community being like, you know, very appreciative and, and suddenly people start to listen more and more and I'm like, I don't think I deserve this because it wasn't until this point that I even felt that it was, you know, for me. But the, sh the community showed me that this can come from anywhere and, and there's people that from the community that I'm still friends to, to this day. So even if I don't, and it's true, I, I haven't made content about Mount Pony in, in a while, but in no way do I, you know, I, there's people in the community that I, fully respect and there's people that I'm still working to with this till this day because 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 there's people out there that that to them it's it's what shares their values and what they, who they are and I think that's very noble and very important thank you so much not just you know the community but thanks Hasbro and DHX Inter Entertainment for making the show because because this generation of Maltaponi was to me a huge impact to why I'm here and why uh, uh, that's that's where I am. Thank you so much, and 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 I hope that the next generation about the funny will be just as good as the last one. And I love you all. It's a little bit embarrassing to admit My Little Pony kind of is my life. And when I say My Little Pony, of course, I mean the community. Uh, it's a big source of income. It contains most of my hobbies, the music I listen to, the videos I watch, the merchandise littered all around my room. And uh, amazing opportunities, you know, like going to BronyCon and being on panels and, of course, just being here on Brony's React is a major opportunity. And then maybe most importantly, the friends I've made in the community. You know, that's kind of an extension of My Little Pony. You know, it hurts to see the show come to an end. But uh, as the moral of this episode is all about, it's important to accept changes like that. Everything, all good things come to an end, you know. I don't understand the mentality that, like, oh, the show's over, just completely abandon it. No, you can... Yeah, I... Go rewatch it. There's tons to rewatch. Th things leave me wondering, where do we go from now, you know? Um, and it's really, for me, it's never been a fear about the fandom ending. It's never even really been a fear of the show ending. Um, but it's certainly a matter of change. I'm currently running the top 10 Pony videos. It's been going on for like eight years. And I'm worried we're going to see decline. I'm not going to get 10 videos in a month. I don't know when that will be, if it will happen very soon, or we still got years left. Really, what makes the fandom special isn't going anywhere and probably will never go anywhere so yeah the original question how has mlp changed your life i mean look around <laughs> that's a good answer <laughs> i don't know I, I i might not even be here without it I was in a bad place. It changed me to my core. I was cynical, angry. Didn't know what I was going to do. <laughs> Look at me now. Damn. Yeah. I feel that right there. That's exactly. Thank you all. I was just working at Burger King, being a personal trainer, and going to college full time, and then I found this show that made me feel happy when time when I was like really just down and sad, and then I met all these great people. <laughs> who are some of my closest friends today and helped me through so much and just made me want to be creative and start this and actually help a bunch of people out and so it's it's very it's changed my life for the better like if I did not have this show I would not be doing YouTube videos the way I do I would not have met y'all out there I would not have like been able to go to cons and meet a bunch of great people so yeah it's it's very it's very just touching it's it touched my soul and I'm so incredibly grateful for the time I had to watch it and meet all these people. The show really touched me and I'm so glad that I got to be a part of this whole thing. And uh, you know what? 
if this is the end, I would say like I'm very grateful for have being part of this, and you know, just it, this is great times, and I'll always look on it with like just love. Got to you know meet so many amazing people from this fandom. We've got so many long lasting friends. It's been a great experience, and it's still going. This episode is just a perfect allegory for like friendships and how you know how things are gonna go after you yeah. know the series ends you're still gonna have your friends as long as you keep that effort to meet up hang out talk yep. everything gonna be okay being a fan of my little pony has opened so many doors that i didn't see for like i i, I never would have guessed that one day i would have gone to germany that one day i would have come to australia um, that I that I'd be able to travel the country, that I'd be able to not only get to meet some of the most incredible people I've ever met, but to call them friends, have some of them be involved in my life in ways, you know, like our wedding. Yeah. This journey has just been so amazing. The friends who are basically family at this point. Who, who would have saw it? Did you see any of this coming? No. And you're like, hey, give it a shot. <laughs> yeah, watch Fall Weather Friends with me. You might like it. What have you done? It just means so much. <laughs> um, not only have I met a lot of amazing friends through the fandom, but also getting to know the people who've worked on this show and the heart behind it, how much they've cared. Um, there's some pretty amazing people that made these nine years possible. I've just been nothing but honored that that I've had the opportunity to to go again to conventions and, and to be able to entertain through this and do the stuff I love, whether it's through video editing or on stage. You know, I, I will never take any of this for granted. It's one reason I always look back at convention vlogs, especially like early ones, and go like, man, I had no idea. <laughs> I had no idea what was coming. Yeah. It has changed my life. Mm. And and the fandom has it's been such a an amazing and will continue to be such an amazing experience. And I I can't wait for the future. You know, no matter what happens, no matter what happens, whether there's a generation or multiple generations in the future or 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 Hasbro does this or or this happens. It seems characters. like no matter what happens, we have nine seasons of My Little Pony. Friendship is magic. Yeah. That was just wrapped up in a bow for us. No matter what happens, we will always have this. That's why I'm not worried about the future. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm not worried about what may come in a future generation. I'm like, no matter what it is, Generation Four will always be what it is. Thanks, Lauren Faust. <laughs> Awesome. Oh man, thanks, M.A. Larson. This mess you caused after season three. <laughs> to each and every one of you that have ever put any time into watching a Bronies React, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. This is AC Race Best signing out. Good night, everyone. Damn, that was just really heartfelt. Every bit of it. The Bronies will return. I'm gonna return. We haven't gone anywhere. We're still here. Uh, yeah. And I'm not gonna repeat my story, but essentially it's the same thing. I did the same thing after I did my, uh, my reaction to it. Just told me like, what it means to me, how it helped me, and, uh, yeah, this show, this fandom, everything has affected so many people. And I love that they added this part on. I'm sorry, because I didn't get much of a reaction. I'm just enthralled, like, just listening to. Uh, also a bit tired, so I'm sorry if it seemed I wasn't bored by it at all. It is just fascinating to hear people's stories as far as what it's done for them. So, the reaction portion of it funny touching but the end was just really also really welcome so thank you AC Race Best thank you everybody who went into this video who s shared 
so much of themselves with everyone and who helped make this fandom what it is and will continue to be. So, from the bottom of my heart, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed that, and I'm going to end this one here. Until next time, take care.